Okay, we're going. Hey, good evening, folks, and welcome to Saturday Night Gaming. It is I, Mark W, and over there is some other guy. I forget his name. What's your name again? <laughs> okay. Can I, can I hear you on Discord? I turned it off on purpose because I figured you could hear me right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Working out audio issues. Is it okay? Can you hear me? It's fine. If you want, I could turn on Discord too. I think it'd probably, probably be easier. Okay. So I'm going to make it so he can hear me. Bear with me one moment, people. So tonight we're going to play some Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove, which we played before on the stream, but we're excited, or I'm at least excited to play since they made a new update, and the update is supposed to fix a lot of issues that there was in the past, uh, especially regarding the enemy density. In other words, there were a ton of enemies that you... It was very uh, a very panicky game, and uh, some other issues too, like the size of the levels. Um, but they made a, a very large fix this January that it supposedly fixes most of these issues. And so, yeah, why don't we jump in this game? By the way, if um, if you notice any issues, audio or otherwise, we always got some kind of issue. Let's just give me a, you know, mention it, and I'll try to fix it as best I can. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Ryan is one of our super regulars here. He had, it used to be just Arturo was one of it was my one super regular, but but you're one too now, Ryan. <laughs> All right, so here's Dojam and Earl back in the groove. We're gonna start a new game. And uh, the fix that I've heard about the fixes, a lot of them, a lot of the level fixes pertain to the fixed world, not the randomly generated world. So I'm gonna go with that. A new game. I just created this one as a test, but I'm gonna overwrite it. Probably don't really care about any of these saved games anymore at this point. Especially not around level one. Yeah. Any of my friends can join. All right, so. I guess we recently unlocked Peebo. I think I'm going to play as Peebo. Unless you want to be him. Uh, I, don't I don't really care. So you start out with, uh, I think, just a few of these guys. It's basic Toe Jam and Earl. This old school and the new school Toe Jam and the same thing for Earl. We unlocked his mom flow, Earl's mom flow, and I guess Luanda and Leticia you had to unlock as well. I'm not Appreciate sure. The street, yeah. you have them. Okay, but we definitely unlocked Peebo. So I'm going to play with him. It looks like going by his stats in the bottom left, he is... Uh, really lucky and the rest are kind of so-so but i guess they tend not to go that high anyway if you look at all these stats in the lower left as we hover over each character i guess the highest is usually like five so actually he's ex his luck of six is or uh, actually seven is much higher than you usually see we'll play on the normal difficulty and for some reason it doesn't let rob bob join until i actually start the game so in that character selection screen he cannot join so I'll just wander around a bit while he is joining and get, get reacquainted with the controls. So I have an Xbox controller in my hand and uh, the A button is to sneak. X is to search all the bushes and trees around you. Uh, what else we got? B is your present menu. For those who are not aware, this, this game uh, in this game is kind of like a roguelike in which you have unidentified items and as you try them out, you can identify them. Or you can also pay to have them identified if you find the right character to do that for you. So I have a boombox, which I believe it plays and distracts the enemies for a bit. The enemies in this game are all earthlings, by the way. Oh, my, my extra lamp here is not working. Hold well, on one second. Now let's just go. Nobody cares about seeing my face brightly lit up. Okay. So, what else we got here? What? You, mean on the camera? No. you cannot be seen. He's a he's a hidden hidden actor. So the Y button seems to just toggle the map. Again, I'm reacquainting myself with the buttons. Uh, here we got a present. Did you find anything good, Tojan? Uh, present. Okay. Which menu? Uh, the menu is B. Present. Want to try something? Uh, or we can... I can just do a question mark. Why don't we wait till we have Earthling, Earthlings to mess with? So there are secret areas on the level, but I 
think you want to have a special item like an inner tube to get over the water. Yeah, inner tube or See if this helps the lighting at all. Oh, or just blind me. Okay, right in the elevator. Ryan says that the 90s loved grossed out humor. <laughs> it's like right in the stimpy kind of thing. Toe Jam, do you think maybe we're related? Why? Oh, you mean the legs? Oh, yeah, we each have uh, extra legs. I didn't mean to use show elevator, but I did. So now we know where the elevator is. Yeah, where the elevator is. So you can get presents identified by the carrot guy here. One thing they made it was it, yep. Uh, I was just gonna say I have no money. Okay. You can hide from the earthlings in the sunflowers. <laughs> so one thing they made in these in this January update is it's harder for the monsters to track onto you. Cause that was a huge problem. They would latch onto you like you know. <laughs> My mind is going to places I should have mentioned in front of the children. Well, they lash onto you in uh, horrible ways. Sorry, not funny. And uh, you can lose their, you can lose their traces better. They can make them lose trace of you, is what I should say. You can jump in the water. It used to be actually in the very first version I had, they would totally lose track of you and jumped in the water. And then I think people abused that a little, so they they removed that. And then I guess they uh, put that feature back in. I found a. You can, you can find those cats in in bushes. I found find the what? The cats? The hats? Oh, the power hats. Power hats was another thing. They used to bombard you with these power hats. Oh, I got sneezed on. The power hats are these random hats you find that give you a power. And they used to be every level you would get one, or almost every level. It was almost like too much. Like, oh, I got a power hat. But they uh, made it so you can find up to two of those per level now in the bushes or the trees. So I can escape this devil by hiding out in the water. It's dangerous to be in the water though, because you can see my life meter goes down. And I'll drown if it runs out. Sometimes it's just a nice escape. There's another power, there's another power hat. Sure there you have one. Another what? Hat. Power hat. Oh. hat. What is going on there? Oh, it's a power hat. It's a hat. It like flies around. Hey, yeah, get back here, power hat. I think I got it. I got a hat of hula love. Uh. Ah, uh, devil got my tail. No, go away, Satan. Jeez, he's so much for them not following on your tail too well. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get them to stop following you if okay. you go into the water. I think. Yeah, I guess the water is a trick. But also, there's um, there were some other things they mentioned, right? They actually they actually track you better sometimes. In some cases, it used to be when you found a secret passage. They would never follow you into the secret passage, but now they do sometimes. So it's not all just making it easier. Anyway, what am I doing? Did I search all this stuff already? I think I did. Anything over there on the left, Toe Jam? It's not a mailbox. That's a real mailbox. But I can't afford anything. How's the secret path? How's it going tonight, Ryan? Look, so the backer island is over there. So I guess if you have something like uh, Icarus wings to fly over there. You can um, get that present that he's guarding or just hanging out by. And I keep looking at my face and it's half shadow, so I am going to try to get this lamp plugged in quick. If you don't mind, I pause one minute. Just be one minute. What happened here? Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better lighting. 
All right, people in the house, uh, where are we going? One thing I like to do is if you look at the map in the bottom right, every time you uncover one of those purplish tiles, you get some experience points. So if you look at that, I just got 50. So that's usually good to do. People are brutal. You can always, anytime you pause like that, you can see your viewership go down. It's like people are like, I don't want to wait the 30 seconds. This is unacceptable. Hey, Arturo. Yes, the, the chair was leading the stream. That's right. The chair, the chair has more personality than I do, so it makes it only makes sense. Anyway, um, got a phone. Got a phone. Hit it. I'm going to it. Blues TD six. That's what uh, you were playing, right? Right, Rob. Who was playing that? Ryan says he plays Blooms TD6. Oh, oh I put it a lot. Yeah, it's a tower defense game. Sushi guy just gave me money. Did you see that? Really? The sushi guy was like, you're poor. Take that. What a nice sushi man. I like you, sushi guy. But he called you poor. I am poor. So now I can um, afford one of these mystery presents, I suppose. I'm not sure if there's any correlation between the price and the quality of the present. Uh, I think it's just... No, I don't think so. Are you talking about balloons, Arturo? Uh, oh, that's an elf. Uh, I am at, like, level 90. You're at level 90? Not, 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 oh, I'm balloon. I know. <laughs> not this yeah, game. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's head over to the elevator tour again. You want... Yeah, you Hit by a bowling ball. Got hit by a bowling ball. Just gotta hate when that happens. I already got it. Though. Bowling balls flying everywhere. Whoa! 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 whoa. 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 That tree is wiggling. It's a nice taco. You're old school toe jam, aren't you? Hey, it's actually, what was it? This house is a big one. Ah, cabbage. Nobody wants cabbage. I don't want cabbage. All right, let's head to the elevator. Oops. Are you still connected? <laughs> um. Oh, you froze in the game. Oh. You froze in the game. All right. I'm going to open this lovely ginger beer. And Rob Bob has refrigerator water. The best refrigerator water on it. Yep. How is Rob Bob's volume, by the way? Uh, hopefully mine is good. On is a L. Okay. Where are you? Uh, I got a present from an L. Whoa! That was... Okay, this Toe Jam guy speaks to too lowly. I can barely hear what he's saying, says so Arturo. Okay. Okay, well, let me pause for one second. Um, let's turn you up. And you can groove out to this funkadelic music in the meantime. Okay, so you're maxed out in Discord. What else can I do then? Hmm. I can lower the game and turn up the whole bit audio capture thing that I have. I ought to do it. So let's turn down the game volume. Game's audio doesn't really matter that much. So if we turn this down, then it can turn up the whole audio capture. And therefore, you can hear Rob Bob better without the music drowning out everything. So let's do that right now. Can you do a quick uh, recital of the Star Spangled Banner? Okay, do your ABCs if you don't know that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Very patriotic. L. Very patriotic alphabet recitals. And the Rockets Red Glare, W, X, Y, Z. All right, let's go with that. I think that should be better. Dun, bum, 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 bum. Much better. Thanks, guys, for the feedback. This cactus has something in it. Oh, Santa Claus. Thanks, Santa Claus. We got a broken present. I'm going to open a random present. Yeah, that sounds good. Telephone. I'm going to open one, too. How about that? This one. Mm -hmm. Special delivery. 
Send a present to send to oh. old school toe jam. Oh. You get my broken present. There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, I have to use it? Okay. Flashlight. That's a... Okay, I think that identifies it, though. You have to use it when I send you one? Uh, so it said... Uh, yeah, I had to use it. But it was a flashlight, and it said flashlights are only useful at night, and I'm pretty sure it got rid of the present. Okay. I was hanging out with my man Gandhi for a bit. What is this? Oh, this is a present fixing man. Wait, you, I think I gave you my broken one, so I don't have any more broken. I'm gonna use this cow yeah. present now. Ready? Let's explore the cow okay. present. It's a rain cloud. Uh oh, don't get hit by lightning when you're in the water. Oh. Uh. uh just, I need an know. umbrella. I need yeah, ice cream. Like that. I think I think this character I'm playing, Peebo, was introduced in the second Toad Jam and Earl game. Oh, now Toad Jam has a weird echo. Oh, great. <laughs> Gandhi cannot protect you from lightning. I can actually adjust that. Let me, um, let's do a good test here. I should have food. Okay, we need to, I need to increase this sensitivity thing. Threshold. Can you talk about that? Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And the rockets, red glare. Okay, I think that's good. Basically, I had to... He's sitting right over there this time, so... <clears throat> I had to increase the threshold. Of which will register his audio, basically. Alright, so let's uh, see if that does a job. We'll have to keep tweaking. We got a, we're doing a new setup, basically. Yeah. He, he's, he's in the same room as me, and, and we're in my room that has the Ethernet now. Basically where I stream the Monday main thing with my cabinet next to me. So we've never quite done this setup before. There has to be a secret passage, because... So there is. Found it? Oh yeah, I was, I was going over the wrong area. I was already there before. Cool. Hello, Gandhi. Oh. Don't get hit by that. That wizard guy heals you, right? Uh, yes. The moldy bread. Yeah, Rob Bob's been with his mom lately, but he's here today. And I'm gonna keep him here forever. Is that... Is it... Is Demon just walking on the water? And... Demon's on the... Yeah, he's... What? He, he thinks he's Jesus, he's walking on the water. But he's not. He's he's evil. Be gone, Satan. Ah. He's gonna... Oh, he's gonna, like, follow you in the water. Uh, I'm gonna identify a present. Tomato. Okay. That was dumb. What? <laughs> I fell down. Oh. Alright, I gotta head back over the elevator. And first, let me pee on this ele on this fire hydrant real quick. I tried to I tried to hide in the water, and he he's now he's now, he's now, st he's now stuck on the water. That's a glitch that I want to fix. I know, right? Ryan, what does Satan think he's doing? We're aliens, you've got nothing to do with us. Uh, this, this demon is now just repeatedly making the noise that he makes when he sees you, when I'm near him. So apparently this new update introduced new bugs. At least that's what I'm gathering from this whole conversation. Yeah. Welcome viewers. I see I have five. It's a record. No, not really. Uh, I'm one of them. So. Oh, you're watching too. I just have, I have the chat. Right, open. right. You want to be able to see what people are saying. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I can't. Jeez. There's multi grid. Satan does not discriminate. How do we have the uncanny, uncanny ability of always starting to speak at the same exact time? I don't know. There's the, that rhythm game over here. And I can see how little rhythm I have in a moment. There's Satan in the hills. Get away! Oh, damn it. Okay, let's go. Also, there's the Dungeons and Dragons guys. Okay, let's go over there. Did that bush wiggle? I think it did. 
Ah, uh, volleyball. Oh no. I've got a pushing meter inside of a bush. I've been cupided. That means I can't control which direction I go, basically. I slap you. It's gonna slap me? And to make you not be cupided? I don't think you can do that, can you? Are you still- I'm cured. I'm cured now, but... I think you can do that. Really? Like you do a high make five? Snap out of... no, you, no, you like, make them snap out of... Like... I am putting in money into random parking lots, parking meters. That are appearing out of thin air. Oh, candy. Or also Not the present. Really like Shall we dance? Yes. I always embarrass myself in these with my lack of rhythm. Which buttons do you use? The X, A, B, I think. Okay. I'm gonna be Y. Yo, can you two drop this beat? It's X, A, B. Oh. I did. Uh, yeah, you get that one. You won. Other players can join that. Yo, sup, old Otis? Why does he have scan lines? Is he like, he's like, like kind of wavering? He's a hologram. He's a hologram. That's right. Okay. Wait, who's making it? Me? You. I made a pretty complex one. Oh. Arturo says he's seen Satan and God and Jesus on Twitter, so I don't see why they wouldn't be on LinkedIn. I think I missed some of this conversation. <laughs> I don't know. I agree that LinkedIn was probably created by the devil. Oh, that's a complex one. I wasn't following. Let's uh, see. I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> that's a hard one. Wow, I did that bad. <laughs> <You're a dollar. laughs> Oh, I am Dojan. Alright, let's roll the D20 with these guys. I lost, I rolled a 1. Oh, that's a critical failure. I have high luck though, that's what Peebo does. So the luck score figures into what you need to roll here. So let's go with it. I need 11 or more, 50 50. A 1. You got, you got a Why one. is everything. Caveman is now walking. Hey, keep your voice down a little bit. Oh, he ate. He just keep ate your voice camera. down. Oh, jeez, gotta wake up the baby. So they make the word bubble kind of cover the D20 now, which is a little unfortunate. Sure, let's try it again. Yay, I got five bucks. Do I keep going? What do you guys think? Keep going. 11 or more. Ooh, I'm, I have 1070 all of a sudden. One more time? One more time, let's do it. Oh, people's luck ran out. But look at this. I only spend a buck each time, and I have a 50-50 chance of getting, like, I don't know how many, but I got five one time. Oh, so they, they don't let you do it after a while. Okay. <clears throat> Otherwise, it would be like, statistically, I would just gain tons of money over time. Infinite money. Basically. Oh, okay. High five. Yeah, I have two of these presents, so I'm not win one. Which one? Uh... Question mark? Uh, extra bucks, apparently. Woohoo! You're ready for promotion. I'm still a wiener. At the bottom left, it says your your character's title, given his current level, so I am a wiener. I can level up. You're gonna level up to a what? Doofus? Uh, I don't remember. Peanut? Peanut. Get away, dirty Cupid. Why is he so dirty? Or are those tattoos? I think he's dirty. He needs a bath. Be gone, Satan. Let's, uh, let's use the present. 
Okay, I'm gonna use this question mark here. Heal friend, so now I can heal you. If I do this, I can float in the air and give you my health. Well, I don't give you my health, but... Shoot. The creative LinkedIn is chasing me, help. I found a ninja hat, it looks like. What is it? Oh, a ninja. Oh, I don't know the ninja. We both got it. We both got it. We glitched. We like glitched it. Did we, did we glitch it? Are you hurt? No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I got the hamburger because you're not hurt. Oh, Satan creeped up on me there. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Okay, that's, that's also another glitch. We both got the hat. Oh, well, maybe it's not a glitch. Maybe it's if you both hit it at about the same time, you both get it. Oh, oh, look. Doesn't sound like a mechanic. Hey, know. you killed him with a bowling ball. Intentionally. Oh. Are we ready to go? I think I want to explore the Tyler, but there's too many Satans. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna leave. No, I haven't. Rob Bob is coming from inside the house. Well, he's right there. He's right over there. If you're just joining us, this is Toy Jam and Earl back in the groove. We wanted to check it out after the latest update, which fixes a bunch of stuff, we're told. Okay, we got flashlights. One of the major issues of the game is a lot of times it's just like you're on this small level and there's like on your screen maybe 10 different earthlings and it's just you can't do anything. <laughs> you just kind of run away. And hopefully you have like the right presence to get you out of there. There's a demon. I just use food. Mm. food, not bad. We need to find the carrot man, don't we? To get our level. Yeah, I think there's a secret. Is there a secret passage maybe? Yeah. So that, now that they chase you through the secret passage, it's kind of hard. Yeah, you can't hide there anymore. There's sushi, man. Oh, Nazi chicken! They're shooting us. Watch out for those Nazi chicken. Tomatoes for amp show hidden paths. I'd rather have tomatoes, I think. Oh, I found a hat. I found a caveman. Healing. Get a healing hat. Hmm. What do I want to do right now? That's There's a lot of carrot, man. This is a low enemy density. Look at. <laughs> We're on an early level, and I feel like there's tons of them. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I haven't found it, but... I'm using this thing. Select two presents to change. To change. Does that randomly change them? And I kind of like the boom box, though. I'm gonna just keep it. I'm all... Oh, okay. Oh, my present. Ah, uh, go away, Nazi chickens. Hmm. Remember, if a naughty chicken shoots you, you can eat some bacon and eggs. Piper from Zone? Go for it. He stole my my boombox. Oh. Okay, we're in the Hyper Funk Zone. You have to avoid hitting walls by making your body disappear. You do that by holding down the button. Oh, I hit the exit. I'm out. Okay, you got the wings which restored me. Oof. Time's running out. Oh no. Now we're good. Alright, we're out of there. Yeah. We got some experience points from it. I'm gonna head down here. I found the ship piece. Okay, we got the engine thingy with Finn. I'm heading out down here mostly, even though I mostly have been here. Because I want to uncover this tile and get some experience. Broken present. There's a tile right here. We don't. Oh, there's a flasher. We've got a present. Taco. Okay, let's head back up. Uh, what about to the left? I hope that our daylight savings difference, Arturo, isn't screwing up, screwing you up too much. Oh yeah, daylight saving. So he's in Mexico, and their daylight saving adjustment starts at a different time. So normally we're one hour apart, but for for now we're two hours apart. 
and uh, that will actually go back to one hour again. Hey, get away from me, men in black. That'll go back to an hour difference again in about two weeks. Sheesh, it's still pretty hard. Like, we're still on an early level, four out of about 25. And they're really hammering us with Earthlings, it feels like. Yeah, there are a lot. Where are you anyway? You are to the okay. right. Okay. Okay, I have a broken Icarus wings, a sh two show wise man, and a slingshot. They went to the caravan. Went to the what? The caravan? The carrot man. Carrot man. Oh, I gotta go to him and get a level. Where is he? Oh, I see him on the map. Okay. Don't... So. I gotta. We should probably sneak more. If you sneak past the sleeping guy, he doesn't wake up. Oh, there was Santa Claus. Unfortunately, Nazi chickens never sleep. No, I don't know if that's true. This one right next to me is not. Let's eat this taco. I'm pretty sure there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a hat over here, but I can't get it because I already have a hat. Hyper? What? what Hyper funk? Uh, yes. Here we go. Oh, nothing to make me feel like I'm old and lacking in reflexes than hyperfunk zone. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Well, you're not old. You have no excuse. Yeah. <laughs> There's more Nazi chickens. Hey, so it's, oh, I missed Santa Claus. Edie loves Santa Claus. I have this watch face from my um, Fitbit, and it shows like a winter scene. And if you if you tap the, the screen, Santa Claus appears. So my two-year-old loves doing that like for an hour an hour straight, basically. Not really that long, but she likes we just tapping it. What's that? Should we go to the next level? I know I gotta level up at the caravan. Okay. He's kind of far, but... Okay. Oh, I gotta level up. That's fair. Go away, men in black. You're not Will Smith. You're an imposter. And you're no Tommy Lee Jones, either. Hey, that's a present we missed. And this house has been unsearched. Oh, no wonder. There's a caveman living in that wonderful, uh... Purplish suburban house. I'm sneaking past the good guy. What am I doing? Pretty sure the caveman now can eat your presents. Caveman can eat my presents. Well, he ate my present. Early. Ate your present? Like he hit me and then I stole. Okay. He... I got my promotion. I'm a doofus. I've never been so happy to be a doofus. Is Peanut after Doofus? It's also Boogeyman is right there. Alright, so I gained life bar size, search skill, inventory size, and luck. Nice. So Arturo says, you are showing your age, Mark. The men in black are now Tessa, Thompson, and Thor. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't even know what you're referring to. <laughs> That's how out of touch I am, right? I know Thor's their superhero, but... Oh. Mm -hmm. The movie was aggressively off. Oh, there was there were new Men in Black? And they had those actors. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I think I got what you're saying. Yeah, I think there was. I remember seeing, like, advertisements for it and stuff. That's right. I think I did... I mean, there's probably no way I could have missed it, but it's, like, one of those things that I just forgot about, because... I guess I was like, who cares? <laughs> That's what I'm like with like 90% of movies at this point. I'm so old and jaded. Yeah. Alright, let's get to the elevator now. Uh. This is from Little or Little Lytle. I think it's Little. It's a good ginger beer. 10 4, Peebo. Way to go, old school toe jam. Too easy, even. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna turn down this heat a little. Are you cool with that? I'm fine. 
I will be cool when that happens. Uh, uh -huh. I get good joke. just made me open a slingshot for some reason. What? Why did it make you open a slingshot? Well, now we both have it. I guess I have it. Also, oh, a ninja hat. Okay, let's kill things. We gotta make, take advantage of the uh, the weapon re weapon re while we have it. Yes. No, I don't. I don't want to search the. Okay. No, stop. Kill this Thank sick you. man. Kill the sick man. He deserves to be tomato. This. How dare he be sick? Is this guy in the? Is this he better good? I don't remember. Oh, he's good. He's good. Let's get him. Broken Icarus wings for high tops. Kill it. I hate the segway guy. Ah, oh, my, my tomato slingshot okay. ran out. Ryan says. Oh, first if Arturo says, "Is that the bacon soda mark?" No, I did not order any of those crazy sodas I've been looking at. Um, so Arturo is referring to. I've been sharing. Uh, yep. So, so there's a segue. Segue guy. I've been sharing with Arturo and friends some crazy sodas I've been looking into. I'm gonna get away from that person. And I found like this one pack that has bacon soda and uh, butter soda, all this crazy stuff. Yeah, there's like. Yeah, worm sludge soda or whatever. Yeah, it was a dirt worm sludge or something. Uh, I, I identified and identify. Okay, let's do that. What cabbage? I found Earthling Horde. We do not want to open Earthling Horde because that must, must unleash a horde of Earthlings. It could be good, but yeah. Let's sneak over to Santa Claus and surprise him. Sneak, sneak, sneak! You woke up Santa Claus. You could... No, I didn't. Ah, take that, Santa. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, our biggest fan's coming. Look out. Uh, stop being a fan of us. And Ryan says, I can't help but feel part of you resents the ginger beer. Yeah, because I can't have the real beer. So I'm drinking all this soda. I also try not to have too much sugar, so. So far, I've only been drinking the soda during my streams. Otherwise, I've been... Drinking seltzer. Boogeyman. I usually drink a lot of. I drink a lot of seltzer, so now you. I'm in the seltzer club too. Be gone, say. Will they follow you on the ice? No. Okay, let's there go is ice the boogeyman. Yes, the boogeyman is there. Why couldn't you leave the slingshot for now? Shall we use boombox? Yeah, it, it, just, it just opened it. I don't know. Let's make them dance, right? Yeah, dance. Trees are dancing too, unfortunately. Oh, they still follow me. Still following you? I guess it's not close enough to the boogeyman. Oh, boogeyman! Boogeyman dancing now. Okay, that was pretty short. Or unless I'm out of the radius. <laughs> Did you see what we were playing with last time, Ryan? We played it for two streams probably about... almost a year ago at this point. Maybe like ten months. But back then, I was watching the replay, the frame rate was so bad, and it took me a long time, like maybe... By the time I played Castle Crashers recently is when I figured out <laughs> that in OBS, the streaming software I use, it basically runs like garbage when you tell it to select a window. You have to tell it to select a display. If you tell it to select a display, it's capable of using your graphics as acceleration. I don't know why it can't with a window. I can conjecture, but I don't really know. And so I learned that trick, and so now games have been streaming much more smoothly, I hope. Okay, yeah, that, that didn't really matter for NetHack and stuff, but... No, for NetHack. NetHack has a... You could have like one frame per second on NetHack and you're pretty good. Yeah, maybe not one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one would be fine. Generally, okay, can we get... And then you... Whatever. You could oh. click it and then it would be... I was hoping it would let me, uh, I was using, uh, trying to use a trick from the original game where you could uncover the tile on the map by just kind of going on the edge and then, uh, you felt too, and then you kind of go back, but I underestimate the amount of time, or I overestimate the amount of time you can do that for. Just hide in here, we gotta let these Nazis go, the Nazi chickens. Okay, you distract the Nazi chicken. I'm just gonna run on the sidewalk. NetHack is very graphic intensive. Rob Bob was yeah. playing with a graphical tile set earlier today. Mm -hmm. Still not graphic intensive, but it's a, a notch above uh, ASCII graphics. Instead of letters, you have like small pixel art.
<laughs> the only thing that that the only downside of that is is when you get a genocide. Gen yeah, you don't know the characters. Yeah. So he's referring to in NetHack, you, you have the scroll of genocide, which lets you r wipe out any kind of monster. And you enter the symbols. For example, a lowercase o would wipe out all the orcs, or because they're represented by lowercase o. But if you play the game with a graphical tile set, then you don't. Oop! I ate some bad food. Thanks. Oh no, the mole stole my stuff. Then anyway, I was saying if you're playing with the graphical tile set, you're not used to the character codes that represent the monsters. So when you're prompted to genocide some creature, you don't know what to type. But at least these days we can Google. I remember the first time I played with a, character, a graphical tile set, you didn't, you didn't have Google at your fingertips. Back in my day. Uh oh, Stu's streaming. That's my competition now. <laughs> There's like just two demons and a boogeyman and a yeti. I think we should head to the elevator. Yeah. <sighs> So Ryan says, I bought Mule. Hold on, let me take care of some identifications here. Did I play Mule? I don't remember. Uh, I wanted you to play Mule. I don't know if we ever did. Like, here I Shit. am. Good Earthling. Time to is teleport. That, is that, that's a board game. I think we played a board game. Oh, yeah, you board played game. the board game. Evan. That's right. But. Originally, Mule is a computer game. Get away, get away, get away. And, uh, it's one of my favorites. Oops. So, Ryan says, I bought Mule on GOG. On GOG? Then realized it doesn't run on a Chromebook. Oh, that's too bad. Uh. Can you get it on, like, Steam? Like, where did you get that? Uh. I mean, I would just. There's a couple of options. There's um, you can just play the ROM on an emulator for like. So it was for. Most mostly played on Atari 8-bit computers and Commodore 64, although it existed in a few other forms as well. I don't think I'm losing any, am I? And um, there's a newer version of Mule called Planet Mule that's very good. It has modern graph. Well, oh, modern-ish graphics and um. It has the network support and all the good stuff that you could not have back in the day. Man. And uh, it's really good. The only thing it lacks is well, a couple of problems. One, it uses a really old version of Java, Java 6. And sometimes it's hard to set up Java 6 because that's uh, too old. Okay, get hit by the boogeyman. And the other problem is it doesn't support hot seat play, only network. So you cannot p plug into the same computer and play, basically. Oh. Trying to get some bacon eggs and I touched the Geico Caveman by mistake. The Geico Caveman? Oh yeah, didn't you? you're you're too um you're too young. You don't remember the Geico Caveman? I do not. They had these commercials that like it's so easy even a even a uh, caveman can use it, and the caveman is like very uh it's like a very classy guy. He you know in one one commercial they. They show him at a rest, a nice restaurant, and he's like ordering the the roast duck with mango salsa. So you know he's like a sophisticated guy, and he gets offended that they're saying even a caveman can use it. Mm -hmm. Now Ryan says, does it run, run on a Chromebook? Uh, Planet Mule probably would if you can get the Java stuff sorted out. I mean, it's not that intensive. I would think it can run on a Chromebook. And our uh, true said, here. "Yep." Oh, there's so there's pie here. Mm, pie. What I found. Oh, what the hell disappeared? Okay, Arturo says, "Stop saying it's too old." Java six was my first Java as a professional. Oh. Hey, you wanna roll? I started with older ones than that. When I got my, you lose. When I got my son. I got my son certification as a Java programmer. That was 2002. It was for the Java 4 platform, which just came out at the time. I need a 10 or higher? Do I get it? No, I lose. I always need a 14 or higher, so I guess luck determines what number or higher you have to. Yes, your luck determines the number. 
So I have basically a 50-50 shot because of my luck. No, I, a little better. I need 10 or more. Oh. I spent so much money, I have to do it. Come on, give me a 10 or more. One. Yeah, I'm gonna do a present. Oh, wait. I wanna get this. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, no. Oh, I used a present and it didn't. It was show hidden paths, and there were no Jeez. hidden paths on this level. Okay, that dentist. Also, get this pie. Get what? Get the pie. Thank you. That's the pie. Um. The. So now I just have a show hidden paths. It didn't like use it up. Let's take the elevator. Okay. Yeah. I need to pay her. So I didn't know this was right here. By the way, one of the options you can set in this game is if you can you can toggle whether you can see the level below you, because that's probably adding a lot of uh, you know resource uh, consumption. Like <laughs> it has to uh, draw all that stuff, all the level below you. So you can turn that off if you want to speed up the game a little bit, basically. In the bathroom. I'm gonna hide in the elevator. He's gonna pee in the elevator, people. Uh. I'm gonna go swimming with the sharks here. What's that? Oh, the lawnmower man's here. Try this one. Duplicate present. Like present to duplicate. Uh, I kind of like. Things that let me kill earthlings, like tomatoes. And now I can use some tomatoes. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, lawnmower man. Now you've really made me mad. There you go. Let's kill the shark while we're at it. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Got to hold it down to throw it harder. Oh, didn't seem to work. Okay. Oh, it lasts so short. I want to have my tomatoes for a long time. You don't really have too much opportunity to like go on the offensive against Earthlings in this game. So when you get the ability, oh good. All right, let's get back out of here. When you are able to, it's very valuable. Okay, presence. Uh, what can I do here? Either something to escape or something to heal me. Heal friend doesn't help. Because I'm not my own friend. Um, high tops. Could help me run away. Do I have food? Don't have food. I guess high tops it is. Uh, let's run. I should go back this way. Okay, let's find somebody to heal me. Welcome back, Rob Bob. Oh, rats on full. Okay. I'm gonna drop these two earthling hordes that are filling my inventory. You really don't want those anyway. Hi, Tops. I don't feel so good. Says Peebo. We need to find the carrot man so I can get my level. What does the Egyptian guy do? Do you remember? Uh, I think he searches all the oh, bushes yeah. on the screen. Yeah, okay, that's not really worth it. Pretty bad because you can just press uh, X to like crap, 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 segue, crap, crap. Person, segue person was on water. Oh no, a dentist. Hey, Santa. This is nasty. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Oh, he died? Yeah. The jackhammer guy froze me, and then a dentist drilled me. Dentists are, do so much damage. Took tons of damage. I was already low. So anything would have killed me, basically. Now I find a nice pie. Mm. Alright, what should we do? Uh... Not the chickens. Boy. 
the worst type of chicken. Are you shot, nice. Spanish in Inqui Inquisition and a shark. Spanish Inquisition is there? Yes. Did you I expect, did not expect it? Them. <laughs> I hate further juggling. I need the extra bucks again. Just, yeah, just, well, extra bucks, can I get over there? No, sorry, I did it too early. Nah. Uh, can you drop Whatever. money? I will give you money if I can. I don't think you can. Uh, how low are you? No, I have $13. Alright, that's what I can. I would just like to get more out of it. Yeah, that's, that's wise. Hyperfunk? Uh, yes. Ryan said the game makes no sense to me. It kind of doesn't, but... <laughs> I don't know if I ever explained the, the main point of the game. I can do that in a moment. I missed that time. I'm going up here. Okay. Maybe there's time up here? Yeah, there's time. Yeah, there's... Whee! <laughs> Pretty good so far. Now that I said that we're gonna lose though. You're gonna curse us. Yeah. Guess we're going up. Yeah. That wastes so much time. That was three in a row. That was nasty. Yeah. Oh, we're out of time. Uh, so. Going up. Uh, yeah, I think. Any, any time right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Oh, that's it. Uh, that's a record. Okay. So. So, so the premise, Ryan, of this game. Which I never explained and I didn't play the intro, so my bad. But um Basically we are aliens who crash landed on Earth, because we were out joyriding and we crashed horribly. And the goal is simply to ascend through twenty-five levels of Earth, because this is apparently what Earth looks like. Uh, I think I think it's you like accidentally created a black hole or something in this game. Right. Earl, Earl pressed the wrong button. Um anyway. For, some, for whatever reason, you, you wind up on Earth, and you have to find the pieces of your ship scattered about Earth throughout these 25 levels. And you escape, and that's about it. And then the Earthlings are what you see. They have, they have a dentist, and a Santa Claus, and a boogeyman, all this random stuff. But I think the whole reason that Earth looks like this in, is because of the black hole or something. Sure, we'll go with that. Telephone. Totally useless. I, then. I probably did. It did look like Saved by the Bell. It was a generic 90s kind of a uh, early 90s design with these. I don't know how to explain the bright colors and the scribbly kind of writing. Go away, Quis Inquisitor. Spanish Inquisitor. I mean, maybe in Mexico it looks like this, uh, Arturo. I've never been there, so I can't say. But if, if that's so, I really want to go there. Except for maybe the, uh, the boogeyman. The Mexican boogeyman. 
and the Spanish Inquisition. They apparently made it over to Mexico too. <laughs> Ryan says New Mexico is exactly like this. Okay. I think when it does draw the level below me, I, I can notice it gets a little bit choppier. Does that make sense? Okay. And it's just totally flavor. It doesn't really add anything. So yeah. I think that's why it's optional to enable that. I got, I got Santa again. I got Santa. Why, where, where's the elevator? It must be bottom left, right? It is there. Aha. Uh -huh. They used the show elevator. Well, we kind of narrowed it down to that. You didn't need to use it. Well, I, I had my inventory was full and I found some presents okay. from Santa, so... Santa. By the way, if you want to hear how much deeper Rob Bob's voice has gotten lately, view one of my streams or videos from like a year ago. Who's Gaming J? <laughs> some guy I subscribed to, I don't even know who he was. Gaming J, he just went live. I don't remember subscribing to a Gaming J. I guess I did. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop searching. See, I'm always, I have this instinct to just search everything, even if I've already been here. It's like an obsession. I have to overrule that thing in my mind that says search everything. Oh, this is well, I opened a major randomizer. You opened a ra Oh, no, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I want to use the parking here. Yeah, good, he's leaving. I'm pretty sure that might have mixed up some of your presents too. Yes, I think uh, I think that's how it works. So he used the random randomizer, which major randomizer even, which shuffles up all your present knowledge. It's like those mind flayers I used to complain about in NetHack. Oh, look at this! I don't know anything is anymore. I hate that. I just got a present. I was like, oh, I'll open this. Cause look at that know. shark. No. I almost died in the same way that you did with uh, the jackhammer guy and the dentist. Yeah, they, they're a terrible one-two punch. Jackhammer freezes you, and then, uh, oh, here's a character. I'm getting Nazi, though. I'm getting egged by Nazi chickens. Doorway? No, I don't want to go there. The doorway just teleports you somewhere random, but I want to upgrade my level right now. I'm now a cabbage. Yeah, 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 cabbage power. This camera guy is being very annoying. Stats time. Luck, life bar, and inventory size. I like having a lot of inventory size because I'm a pack rat. I always have piles of crap in any game that lets you collect things. Okay. Oh, let's identify stuff now that we don't know what anything is anymore. Slingshot, protection bubble, doorway, baby randomizer. So I think it actually mixes them up. It doesn't just... It doesn't just wipe out your knowledge of the item. It actually... Right, you find some presents, too. It, it makes it something else. Anyway, I have just identified a ton of things, and now I only have oh. 490 left. What? Uh, some of my presents got identified. Right, because I we share the knowledge. Yeah. I'm going to toss away baby randomizer. Do not pick this up. I mean, rain you could, cloud, but... Decoy. You don't want rain cloud. It's only bad. I'm just spending all my... I just spent all my money on... But whatever. What is the oh? Let me drop this ring cloud. Ah, oh, don't go in there. I just want to press the button. The button made money. I'm getting sand in my shoe. It says Peebo. All right, uh, do I want to identify more stuff? Eh. Sand. There's like a sand nato. Oh no, not the sand nato. That's worse than a shark nato. We have an amped time teleport for six dollars at the um, mailbox. Also a Santa over here. Okay, let's try to be more careful about opening random crits. I try to identify them first, basically. Unless yeah. you're unless you're in a jam. <laughs> I accidentally uh -oh. scared away Santa. Oh man! No, don't take me over the edge. Okay. I think this part is probably like New Mexico, right, Ryan? Oh, really? That's the annoying part of those sand twisters. They uh, dump you on the level before. What's going on? Okay, there we I'll go. Wait at the, I'm waiting at the elevator in the next level six. 
Oh, I have to go. Look at that. Look at how far around I have to go. Look at the map in the lower right, guys. That just angers me. <laughs> Why do I play a game that makes me angry? I don't know. I mean, if I had like something that could like spring shoot, like a jump over or a Icarus wing that could fly, but those, those are really good to save for when you really need them, unfortunately. I think I, I had a broken Icarus wing. I have Icarus wing, because I can't justify using it, is what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying I had one, and then... Okay. No, I don't, because... The randomizer. Help me! I really don't want Expel Presence. Expel or Presence? Or Gassy, I mean. I don't know, that's what it was called. Or, or two Here I Am. Here I Am! Alright, Bebo. Uh, I think Sleep Gas is good. Get away, devil. Ah. Uh, I don't remember if Sleep Gas is good or bad. Sleep Gas. Uh, I don't either. Fries, yummy. From Wick Donald's. Oh, uh, yeah, what does Sleep Gas do? Jump, jump. Why does it tell me jump? It either puts you to sleep or the enemies to sleep, but I don't remember which one. One of those. Unfortunately, that's dangerous to test out in a hairy situation. <laughs> We don't know which one it is. Look it up. I'm getting tired of this. Yeah, me too. Oh. Go away, Jackhammer. So this is a, the original Toe Jam Mineral was for Sega Genesis. And it played a lot like this one, but obviously, uh, you know, kind of simpler and and no uh, network play and all that stuff, you know, obviously. And then they made a sequel, which was kind of a platformer. Sega made the developers of this gate game make it a side-scrolling platformer because that was what was popular anyway ryan says see you later they're gonna watch dateline no stew no mark time all right <laughs> take care ryan thanks for watching see you probably on monday i will think but i don't know wonder what's on dateline i didn't even know that show was still on anyway enjoy your dateline your dateline date you have a date to watch dateline um jeez this is an annoying level yeah I guess I'm gonna head this direction. All that water. Yeah, I have to go island hopping, kinda. Fortunately, I have enough health to handle that. Oh no, Segway man. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Segway in real life. Have you? I think I saw one once at a mall or something. Or at, I think it was at a movie theater? I don't remember. Movie theater? No, it wasn't like a movie theater. It was like an outdoor place that there was a movie theater nearby, I think. I don't remember. Hmm. I don't know what it was called. It was called Segway Land, the most magical land on Earth. You can buy Segways there. Didn't the creator of the Segway die in a Segway accident? He died from, like, riding off a cliff, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Come on, go away, Spanish man. Also, why would you ride a Segway near a place with cliffs? Oh. Oh, no. I've been judged. Oh. Oh, uh, you got inquisitioned. I hate you. These damn Spaniards. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh Okay. Get away. Crap. I hate this. <laughs> this game is like pissing me off now. <laughs> well, I was greedy. I was going for searching that bush. I didn't have to go there. I didn't have to stay that, that close to the Spanish Inquisitor. If I ever get famous, this is going to come back to me. Somebody will say, we have a recording of Mark saying, damn Spaniards, she's racist. Actually don't have any problem with Spaniards. Now Mexicans like Arturo on the other hand. <laughs> I'm going to close the door just so uh, the baby does not wake up. You didn't close it before? I forgot. Okay.
Yeah, but usually a tro, you, you could if you say anything like you don't like a certain religion or a certain nationality, people just use the word racist. It's like a catch-all. Probably more accurate would be like xenophobic or something like that. I hate Europeans. Look at my skin though. Now if I hate Europeans, I don't hate Europeans, but I'm just joking. Just joking. Now if I'm a Euro I know obviously I have European ancestry, so does that um mean I hate myself or only kinda like current European, like modern day European? I'm back. I don't know what I'm babbling about. Also, the ton of presents by the elevator are Ooh. bad presents. I guess you could say bigoted too, like if you hate a certain fill in the blank, you're, you're a bigot of some sort. It's kind of a ge generic term. But people usually say race, like if you say, uh, I should, I don't even know why I'm going into this, but if you say, for example, you don't like, oh, no, I'm not going to go. Let's end this conversation. Okay, well, I was trying to say, if you say you don't like a specific religion, I won't give an example, then somebody might say you're being a racist, even though it's not totally accurate. Okay, let's get some ice cream and get out of here. Those. those are garbage we left before, right? I think they are. Uh, no. Maybe right tornadoes off the side. Oh, I see you on the map. You're... Oh, you fell, didn't you? These levels, oh. they, they punish you. <laughs> we have not gone past level 6 in so long. I'm ready to get out of here, though. Oh, no. I will speed run. I want to go swimming rather than... Yeah, the land route is a bad idea. What are these presents? Do we leave these? Oh no, get away, clipboard person. No, get away, no. Oh, that's my money. <gasps> Stole my money, jerk. And now I'm asleep for some reason. Oh yeah, they're boring. That's cool. You mash the buttons to wake up? That's how it was in the original Toe Jam. You would mash the buttons. I think you just, you don't have to mash it. I think you, you just wiggle, press you wiggle the joystick. That's what that's for. Gassy tummy. Oh yeah, don't pick those don't pick those up, I dropped them. That's that's your garbage you left for me. That was just getting out my inventory. So Java six was your first Java, right? Power talk. I first taught myself Java, I think it was nineteen ninety eight. I was running a, a website dedicated to the game Doom, and I made this applet in Java. I, I self-taught myself. I didn't really know the language well at all, but what I did was I made it so you could, um, uh, there were certain add-ons that like changed the, the the way your character looked. I made a little applet that previewed the character, so it would show them walking and spinning around and stuff and shooting their guts. That was my incentive to learn Java. Back then, everything Java was like totally talked about in the context of applets. Applets were for people who don't know they're like little programs that run in your web browser. And that's some people think Java is still about that. They say, "Oh, remember Java? That thing sucked. Nobody used it anymore." I'm like actually, actually, Java's used a lot. I use it at work. It's not just applets anymore. Since like 1998. You have taught me some Java. That's right. Rob Bob is working on learning Java. I am his teacher, and I'm not a good teacher, but I do my best. <laughs> Problem is, I'm sometimes like, no, that's the main method. You can't copy a main method. You can't have two main methods. You actually, sort of can, but it's not what we want. I don't understand methods and. Too well yet. Yeah. Methods are important. You have to know methods. Yeah. Alright, next floor first level finally. 
I wasn't sure this elevator was real. What? No, of course not. What? Oh, nothing. Wait, was that a coherent dialogue? I don't really know. I don't think so. <laughs> I got the coolest thing. Oh, I won't show you right now. Don't forget to use your presence, people. Oh, that's a reminder. I am told you. Oh, a broken present. What is it? It's broken question mark. Watch out. Watch out for that flying bowling ball. Oh, the ship piece. And an evil dentist that will probably kill me. Oh, no. Thank you for not chasing me. Crap. I'm hiding in the sunflowers. Yeah. Look, I'm invincible. Even though they aim at me, I, I, I'm invincible when I'm in the sunflowers. I can't see you. But they even shot right at me and hit me. You... I guess I should use things more, but I'm going to drop rain cloud for sure. Oh. Do you want to kill I'm... these guys with tomatoes? I'm very... Uh, it's probably a good idea. Are you on my screen? No. I'm trying to get over there, but there's some kind of like trap. A trap? That's um, a trap. There's a sh there's many enemies around this water, and I'm dead. Oh no. Okay. I got hit by a dentist. Ready? Well. Let's kill yeah, him. Might as well. Go. No, not Gandhi. Kill a dentist. My dentist, who I have to go to next week, would not approve of killing her. Kill a Nazi chicken. The Nazi chickens I'm going to next week would not approve of being killed either. There's grass in the water. Nazi chickens take a lot of hits. There we go. Oh, I killed Gandhi. Sorry, Gandhi. Kill the devil. Kill the devil. Be gone, Ooh, tomato. No. Oh, it lasts such a short time. I hate it. <laughs> I want to like run around the level, like going on a rampage. Killing everybody. Don't eat that. Whoa. And I guess I am an alien, an evil alien invader in that case. If I, yeah, you're if I walk you're around, killing innocent people. I killed Gandhi, right? Uh, did you? I thought you just I did. did. I think I killed him. All that for a, is that a bad person? I think it is. That was a baby randomizer, so let's throw that away. Inner tube? Inner tube, that's good. Wait, let's use presence more. Should we go to level zero? Level zero? How do you go there? Remember oh, how you go yeah, to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let me just make sure I know which one. Okay. I got it from the tree guy. You got what? He's the guy that will ask for one of your presents in exchange for another present. Oh, you got the inner tube from it. Yeah. Okay. So, just jump down. Yep, I'll be there in a second. I found some money. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the first level then. Okay, so what we're doing, for those who do not know, is uh, if you f keep falling down levels, you can eventually go beyond level one down to level zero, and there are some bonus prizes you can find there. It's taking forever to load. Yeah, what's going on? What? Oh, there we go. What? I... That's... That's not normal. There's like five street lights on the level that are in like one spot. What? Street lights? I, uh, like the lights that point down onto onto the street in real life. And you're saying there's five of them? And there's like five of them in one spot on level four. Oh. Huh. Look, I found some secret stuff on level four. What time are we at? 10.23, okay. Time flies when you're toe jamming. So my plan is after this, I'm going to resume my FTL game already in progress. After this little guy goes to bed, this big guy, I mean. Oh, I'm dancing the hula now. And Satan's going to get me for dancing. Oh no, my devil dancing is going to... Oh, look at all this stuff. Ah, Jackhammer Man. No, no. It doesn't sound like it's something. Everything's going well. 
not to us. I, just, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, just jump down. I'd rather jump off the cliff than deal with my biggest fan. Okay, I'm headed to level one. Where are you? Uh, I'm on level one. All right, so what is it, down left for the... What? Oh, Push. are you here? Yes, I'm here. Ah. I'm trying to remember the direction to go. I know in the first game... It's... I think it's random. All right, so... Let's, let's come up with a backup plan in case we run out. We have an inner tube. I have one inner tube. I have an Icarus wings you can also use. I don't know if you can do that while you're in the water, though. So that's, I think you probably uh, can. Probably. Okay, so which way do we want to go? Down left? Oh, I can... Oh, oh, I got an identify. What are you doing? Uh, I accidentally opened a present, and it was an identify. Okay, so are we going to go down left? Um, sure. sure. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, use it. I'll use, use it. Gator oh. tube. <laughs> You're faster than me, aren't you? Yeah. Is it here? Okay, it's about to run out. Um, and oh, it's halfway. There it is. Oh, it's right there. Just in time. Mine just ran out. And then here. You want to I have one of those already. It's unknown though. Well, you, you can have it. You have, I have an identify. Uh, sure. You... It is a change present. Okay. Uh, go down. Little I'm ready for promotion. I'm gonna. Uh... I have I have one dollar thirty cents. So I'm gonna get this. I have 330. Let's uncover this tile up here. Get some points. I'm still richer and you're still richer than me. Yeah, I spent a ton of money identifying after that disaster of randomization. Okay, what are we doing? Put the yeah. down. Put the fall down. Let's yeah, do I'm uh, waiting for you. Okay. Hello, hula dancers. Let's take a bath. How do you get in the bath? Ah, uh, much better. Haha, ha, people. Oh, that's, I'm pretty sure this just heals you. You should hang out with me and Big E more often, people. Aloha, old school Toe Jam. Where's. Here's Lemonade Man. Where's Lemonade Man? Uh, at the Sorry. bottom. Uh. Lemonade Nerd, I call him. Hello, Lemonade Nerd. Extra life. Can I have another, please? Ah, uh, sorry, I already gave you some lemonade. Oh, I'm gonna throw tomatoes at you then. Give me the lemonade. You want that? You're uh, poor, right? We're even, I think. Oh, I, I, I don't even want to do that dance. It's like so insane, no, right? I, that one takes forever. It's like, it took like five minutes. <laughs> it's insane. Plus a dollar. Plus a dollar, and you, and like, you just keep pressing buttons for like five minutes. Probably not literally, but... Alright, should we, uh, wrap it up then? Uh, sure. Is there more to explore, I don't recall. Uh, there is. It's like... Yeah, we can explore a little more. As long as it doesn't require, like, Icarus wings or something. No, I don't think it does. Oh. That's it? I guess. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump! So now we're back at level, what, seven? Uh, yeah. It loads. We're back to seven. There's a shit piece on this level we haven't found, by the way. Be gone, devil. There's a, there's a happy little elf. Let's go. Let's go murder the elf. Here, Elfie, Elfie, where did you go? I can become a... There he is. What, whatever the next level is. Punch that elf. Decoy. Yeah, I'm gonna use her drop some crap. Um, I'll drop this unknown one. Yeah, I need to... 
use the uh the what oh uh, the lady that's the fat lady that sings either then i am at like one health oh we killed the sushi man and the carrot man don't kill the carrot man Wait, I I can do, if i can get to you i can do heal friend wait can i do it from here does it work from a distance i don't think so but um i'm i can my health bar is just red here. I have like the tiniest sliver of Oh, milk. come on! No, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I was on the menu and they knocked me off. I got hit by a, a devil. I don't know they can knock you off when you're on the level, when you're on the menu. I thought they, I thought they couldn't. I was like a second away from getting the heal, heal friend going. Uh, I'm going. I'll just go this way. That elf? Uh, there's an elf though, right? Yeah, screw the elf. Oh, a boogeyman. Boogie, 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 boogie. Bowling ball of doom. Oh, Nazis. The Nazi chickens look like something out of the far side. By the way, I don't, they're not necessarily Nazi. That's not their official name. I just call them that because they have the, the pointed helmets. Oops, I didn't actually mean to go in there. Where did it take me? Oh, come on, really? Hey, Santa. Just passing by. I don't want any trouble, guys. Oh, come on. Wonder what's on Dateline tonight. But Ryan is not actually late like it is here. It's uh, he's three hours prior to uh, us. It's ten thirty for us. Yeah, I'm a Poindexter. I should level up, but I killed the Cabbage Man with got some fat lady that sings. Cool. Oh, I gotta find the shit piece on this level. My luck is insane. I need things besides luck, though. I think luck only helps you with the D and D players, really. Not sure if it does anything else. Pretty sure it does do more than that. But I don't know but, why. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> that's like oh, one that's, thing. that's money. Wait, wait. Oh. I only noticed the money as I was walking in. Okay, I'm in the map. Okay, I'm in the lower left of the map. I think I found a ship piece. There you go. It's, it looks like on an island, though, right? How do I get there? Oh, there's a secret. You found a secret? I guess if there's no secret, you would need, like, Icarus Winds or something. There we go. The Righteous Ratmaster Cockpit. Nice. Can I get something? Prize time. I want a life. And I got a question mark. I got a pile of money. Oh. Arturo asked if you go down, would the money still be there? I think it would be, yeah. I just uh, don't want to do that for three bucks. I see a hyperfunk zone on the floor below me. <laughs> really? I don't think it's worth it to go down there, though. I think we can head to the elevator now. Yeah. I get past this man in black. <laughs> Our throat just had a good joke. He asked me with, if I go down to the previous level with the money that was lying on the ground still be there. And I said, yes, it should be. And his re reply is, then it is not Mexico. <laughs> the man in black just randomized two of my presents. He says, here, if you leave money... On a, on a table and turn for half a second it won't be there anymore wow like any table like even your your home table <laughs> it's a magic that's a magic trick you could do oh god 
I was eating uh, like a sandwich at the beach one time, and I look away for one se oh, second, man, and, a and a seagull stole my bun when I look back. <laughs> Those seagulls are nasty. I, I looked away for like maybe five seconds. The seagulls are just waiting for their opportunity to steal your food on the beach. And my grandma, who was there, saw it, and I had no clue what happened. There was just no bun. <laughs> hey, level eight. Uh, telephone. Do we have any random presents to test out? Do we want to even uh, do that? I, I think we were saying it's probably safer to identify at this point. Yeah, it's probably safer to go to Carrot Man. Uh, ah. It's a troll. Okay, it's I don't know, I got internet trolled. That does a lot of damage. Or a decent amount of damage. You got trolled. Oh, there's uh, some cake and taco. Arturo, do you, um, in Mexico, Mexico, is it common to tip at restaurants? Because we, like, it's so crazy the way it works here is if you are a waiter at a restaurant, your boss does not have to pay you the minimum wage because it's expected that the customers are going to pay you tips, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, that, that does not make sense. Are you getting that present, Zip? Uh, Raba? <laughs> oh, I got trolled. So I was just thinking. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay I might drown. Okay. Almost drowned because of the troll. And so what happens is people, sometimes people leave the chips on the table at the restaurant and just walk away and I'm so surprised that they don't get stolen more often. Maybe they do though because not, it's not like I'm, you know, I'm not working there and I don't really get to see if tips get stolen. But I guess most of the times there's enough people around that if somebody tried that, they'd be like, you know, people aren't going to do that if there, if there's too many people around. Do you need that? Yeah. Burger? No, I'm fine. 10% is customary in Mexico. Yeah, here it's like, um, I always grew up hearing that it was 15% is customary. And now people tend to do more like 18, but then they like round up to 20 because 18 is too hard to figure out. And it's like, oh, it just keeps escalating. Uh, yeah. Okay, how do we get off this island? Probably secret somewhere. Now, I, heard, no, I heard in some countries, like in Europe, they don't just don't have that concept of tipping. It's like the, the staff are paid the right amount, and if you did leave a tip, they would be like, "What? Why are you handing me money?" I found out if you touch the troll, he turns into a child who runs away from you, and you really? slap him. I didn't know that. That's awesome. They knocked him off the edge. Oh, that's great. Because it's like an internet troll is really just some little bratty kid. So how do we get off this island? I don't know. Did you, did you try the... This... I didn't try all the sides. Okay. Watch out for one more, man. There's one more, man. Let's do something. Uh... I'm gonna hide in these sunflowers, because... Like, no only... And tomatoes, let's do it. Oh, I'm not... Oh, whatever. What, you were not there? I was running away from... You don't have the tomatoes? No, I don't. Yeah. That was on the radius. Oh well. <clears throat> Here we go. You found it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. And now the sneaky thing is about tipping. <laughs> I don't have a problem with tipping, by the way. But it's just that it, some, the escalation of it is a little weird. And this, this part of it, though, I really don't like it. A lot of times, you, if you pay at a restaurant with a credit card, they have this, you scan it into one of these point of sale things, you know, it's like a little LCD screen. Sometimes sometimes it's literally an iPad. Great, I ran off tomatoes before the cow came up. Um, and they'll be like, they give you the option to choose and they'll like make it like 20% or 25% is normal. They'll like have like maybe three options. It's like 15, 20, 25. And they'll make, that makes it seem like you should be choosing 20 to be in the middle. Which is crazy to me. So I just don't like when they kind of try to manipulate you into tipping more. Anyway, expel pre did you figure out what that does? Expel present? Uh, I'm assuming it just drops a bunch of your presents. It sounds like you they they spew out of you. Bleh. 
Oh, you puke them up. Invisibility paint could be used to present freeze? Mm, I think that makes sense so you can't use your presence. Okay. For a little bit. You cannot identify the um, question marks anymore? We can't? Oh, you can't. This wasn't oh. working on this one for some reason. <laughs> oh, I was pressing the wrong button. To... Okay. High tops and decoy. Down four. Arturo says America, they're famous here for being big tippers. Cool. And he goes on to say, when I lived in Cancun, a lot of people would quit their regular jobs and work as waiters slash waitresses during spring break because tips from Americans were great. Oh, that's cool. That means we're suckers. I found the ship. But uh, again, I don't want to sound like I'm anti-tipping. I actually am pro-tipping. It's just that for the norm to be, you have to tip a certain amount by default. Kind of annoyed me. They should just be paid more. They, yeah, they should actually just pay them. And like, for example, sometimes you don't have to tip if it's like, you know, takeout food. But if they're really good to me, I'll tip them anyway. Like, when I worked in the city, I mean, I haven't been in the city because of COVID crap. But, um, you know, if I, if I go to get to a street meat cook, uh, truck, which means basically halal food, you know, I, if, if they're nice to me and they give me a little extra something, I'll be like, hey, here's two bucks. I put it in their tip jar. I'm happy to tip if they're they're really good. Sometimes they're just really friendly. It's, you know, it doesn't even have to be a free gift or something. Oh, it opened my invisibility paint. Go away. Oh, she hit me. I didn't think she touched me. Uh, there's a dancer if you want to come here later. But you're far away for now. Uh, I could... I'm not kind of far, yeah. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm invisible. Oh, pie. Nice. I found some tree pie, the best kind. Cancun. Would you just go to the elevator? Oh, healing hat. I want that. I want that. Get back here, healing hat. Yeah, this is better than getting a random hat when you enter a level. Yeah, you have to like chase it around. They're kind of a semi-rare occurrence, and you have to work to get them. I like that. Got it. Hat of life. Uh, where the heck am I? Okay, I'm down there. Oh, found Gandhi in a bush. Oh. But I still don't get... I just one last thing about the tipping. <laughs> the tipping thing. I don't get how it's legal to pay them to pay the servers below minimum wage and just say you're supposed to make it a tip because it's not guaranteed that they're gonna. So how is it even legal? I don't get it. Because why not? I don't... Because why not? Yeah, it doesn't seem fair. Because the tips are optional, technically. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna eat these pancakes. I'm only oh, only healing had healed me, so I didn't need to eat the pancakes. Okay, so I will leave the pancakes on the ground for another day. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, Arturo. I would I would pay more for the food even, yeah, like the listed price of the food, and then I would chip a little bit. So, you know, like if uh, the the price on the menu was listed. A few bucks higher, higher than sure, and then if the waiter gave a really good service, I'd give them a little bit extra as a tip. Wait, where am I going here? Oh, I have to go all the way that way. Shoot, I was paying close attention. I gotta go down and then I'll up those tiny corners. Yeah, this level's really weird. Anyway, Arturo says he doesn't think that's legal in Mexico. Hmm. I found a secret path that leads to an island with nothing on it. Let's just head to the elevator. Yeah. Someday I should play the original of this on Monday Main. The original Toe Jam. And we need to figure out how to get you, Rob Bob, on Monday Main sometime. I watch it sometimes. I need to get you in the game. I know you're not usually here on Mondays. That's the thing. 
Maybe yeah. someday if you have like time off, like if you have, well, you have spring break. break. Yeah. And if you could get you here on Monday, then uh, one thing would be cool is it would look cool seeing the arcade stick with two people playing. Because yeah. you saw how I do an overhead view, right? A lately, right? Okay, so I just went over there to get the tile because I'm greedy for experience points. I do that sometimes. Even though it's only like 50 points. It's good because uh, you gotta get your points. Otherwise, you're a, a wiener forever. I'm a poindexter. I'm a poindexter right now. I'm like a wumpus next. Wumpus? Getting there, old school toe jam. Yo, you know any fresh racks? Somewhere over the rainbow. Nice, but maybe something more funky. <laughs> um, Peebo. I'm kind of tied up, old school toe jam. What does that mean? Okay, well, we gotta use something here. Or just run away. Want to fight? Uh, I have... High top, protection bubble, doorway. Run I, don't doorway. To fight. I don't think I have anything to fight, but I, might, I think I have a high tops probably, unless I don't. I have a few decoys. Decoy. I have three decoys. Want to use one? I have two. Let's use a decoy. Uh, I'll, I'll use it, okay? You have one more, so sure. Here you go, decoy right here. Wait, why are there two of us? Oh, uh, Decoy, never mind. Decoys. <laughs> you got fooled by our, de our own decoys? Like, why are there two of us? Oh, I can... Gandhi in a tree. Second gun. I can... I can slap the internet troll. Slap his face. Now he's yellow. Mmm, bacon. That reminds me, I need to defrost more bacon if you want stuff for breakfast. What does Express Elevator do? Does it like take you back up to the top level you've been to, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's use Show Elevator because reasons. There it's okay, it's over there. Oh no! It is the dancing person. I hope the sick guy doesn't have COVID. I know, I shouldn't be making COVID jokes, I'm terrible. Cool, I killed the, the sick guy. Oh, no, don't kill an Egyptian, even though he's useless. He's like the worst of the nice guys. I hit a... There's a dancing guy, the dancing guy over here. Right, I'll, I'll come there in a second. Them. Yeah. But I can embarrass myself again. Alright, let's do it. Where are you? Are you still here? Uh, I, was, I was getting food because I okay. needed health. Leave us unknown chickens. He was launching. Yo, what's up, old always? Oh, no, okay. Can you there's do like no text. No. Yay, money. money! Ring shoes, those are good to have, actually. Alright. Um, Let's just... I'm gonna drop a random thing and get spring shoes. Did you get them? Oh, we're doing this again? Okay. I did not want to deal with the chickens. Also, there's just an egg hovering in the left side of the screen. Okay, old school Toja, make a beat. Oh. I can never decipher your beats. There's no regularity to them. <laughs> Hit buttons. Everybody but Toja and play, okay. I thought I said everybody but Toja and play it. I got lame. 
So you got luck and that made it give you better results? This one did not use B, only X and A. How much money do you have? I have eight dollars. Okay, I need more right cents. now. How much do you have? Uh, four eighty. Now that I've now that I've got that dollar. I just kind of picked it up. I think. Lots of parking meters. Hooray! I love feeding parking meters. Ah, uh, there's a naked man in a box. Oh, eat the mushroom. Boom box is good. Oh. Go away, boogeyman. I'm gonna need a taco right in front of you, boogeyman. The Wookiee Man does very little damage. He's one of the more dangerous enemies in the original. He yeah, doesn't do much damage. The dentist in this one is yeah. crazy. I don't know if present for you is what I want or not. I haven't amped ones. Does that mean it's a good thing necessarily? I don't know. Too many things I just don't use. Like spell credits we decided is probably bad, so I'm gonna drop that. Yeah. I decided to waste all my money on identifying. No, it's good to identify. Where, where's the carrot? Top, top I'm right? at 10 cents. Uh, by the elevator. Let's pay the fat lady here. I'm kind of far. Yeah, okay, let's kill everybody, fat lady. Oh, we kill the good guys too, unfortunately. Let's kill the boogeyman. Where is that boogeyman? There he is, kill it. Sing. Sing my angel of music. Kill Cupid. We hate him. Kill a shark. Baby shark. Yes, we're killing lots of Earth. Don't kill Otis. Kill the Nazi chickens, though. Come on, kill him. Can you not sing across the water? Nah, she's out of juice. She's out of singing juice. Anyway, I'm gonna to head to the carrot man, even though I only have two bucks for identifying. Rain cloud. I love you, fat lady. You're my favorite lady in this game. I love you bacon and eggs. But there's two elevators, so one of them might be fake. Oh. One of them is fake, so yes. Be ready to... to leave the elevator. Okay, let's go to Carrot Man. Oh, I have I, oh, I fed the parking mirror. Now I can't afford any identification. Damn. Go away, go away. Uh, just hide in the elevator. Unless it's an evil elevator. I need some money so I can identify something. Oh man, <laughs> that's a question mark present if you want it. I can't. I'm hiding. But you know what? Uh, it might be better to drop a question mark present than I don't know. Because yes. Yeah. I'm just hoarding too much. I just gotta just use stuff, right? What does Hira yeah. what does Hira even do? What? What does Hira is Hira a bad one? I think it is, right? 
Oh, yeah, that's to alert all the enemies to where you Let's are. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, you don't need that. Let's... I oh, already got the present. Okay. Here's Garrett Man. Hey, Garrett Man. Oh, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Oh, I got her. Evil? No, it's not. It was a good, good elevator. That's good. So is the elevator. A oh, random mode on there. Okay, I guess I didn't have that on there. People need help. I will go the other way. Okay. Oh, I heard a naked man in a box. Oh, a yeti. Yeti and spaghetti. Why does he have a pencil? That's the mystery. There's the evil Milba. Oh, sorry, I sent you off the cliff, wizard. <laughs> Did you see that? No. What? No. Oh, oh. I'm invisible. Yeti hurt me a lot. Yeti bad. The the guy with the drone hit me and activated one of my presents, and it turned me invisible. Uh, uh, uh. What is a question mark, so I don't have that identified. That was you. I thought you were an earthling coming after. Oh no. Protection bubble, I have to use that. Try bumping into earthling. Okay, let's try bumping into them. Boing. Do we kill them? You can knock them off? Let's knock them off the edge, this should be fun. On. If we were on a level with... I'll kill a smashing uh, position. If we are on a level with water, then we could probably drown him. Yes. Oh, that's gonna wear off soon. Gotta get the smashing position now. I got... Yes! I knocked off the lawnmower, man. Nice, I got rid of the Spanish guy. And I knocked the wizard onto the ice. We're being mean to these wizards lately. Ah. What? Evil mailbox. Evil mailbox. Oh, so I need like a little bit more experience to level up. Me too. Hello, fat lady. She's on ice. Oh, I see an evil mailbox right there. I see his eyes peeking out. Ghost cow, all kinds of nasty earth things. Oh no, go away, drone. Incense. Throw away moldy cabbage or whatever, slimy cabbage. Throw away is not really that good usually unless you're trying to escape from enemies. Yeah. Well, we should wrap this up soon and you should go to bed. Okay, try to finish this level. Sure. Uh, did we find the elevator? No. Uh, no. However, I can afford some carrot identification now. That's good. Just one, though. Well, Arturo, I think you're the only viewer tonight. Um, I was thinking of playing FTL. Is that what you'd like, you would like to see if you're still hanging around? I'm gonna level up. I'm a peanut. Let's see, I hit the um, parking meter, but then what happened? Cool, FTL it is then. Yeah, I have a game in progress from last week, and I will continue that. We have two of this one, so let's identify it. Amp present, okay. Is there anything we want to amp that I have? Could be good to amp some high tops, Icarus wings, spring shoot. I like those things, they're all good things. Let's amp a slingshot, actually, that'd be great. Yes, amp slingshot.
Wah. Need some healing now. Mailbox monster. Found the elevator. Go away, ghost cow. Where's the elevator? At the bottom. Uh, it's at the bottom. Okay, I'm running. Run, 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 run. In the original Toe Jam, I know there was a present called Togetherness, and it would teleport you to the other guy. You haven't seen anything like that, have you? Yeah, this, I think there's a present called Togetherness Go. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm assuming just that. Hmm. Money. Togetherness Go. Well, I have two bucks, three bucks. All of a sudden, let's head back over to Carrot Man. I have Show Wise Man. All right, that's good. They really make the Wise Man plentiful. That's the Carrot Guy, by the way. And the original, you'd probably find like one every few levels or so. In this game, it's like every level has at least one, sometimes more. Yeah, I think it's fun for a level. Okay, Pebo and Toe Jam are about to wrap up their adventures for the evening. We finished the first 10 levels out of about 25 in about two hours. I'm not saying that's good, it's just, I'm just commenting on about how long it took. Now, some people regard the original game as excruciatingly hard, which I find strange because I, I can beat it like easily. I don't know. At least I used to be able to. I haven't played in a while. I mean, I have played in the last 10 years or so, but. All right. Okay, well, now that we have all these guys, we should. I think. should go to bed. We sh you shall. I will quit. Okay, hang tight, guys, for a couple of minutes. We're going to have a brief intermission, and then we're going to play FTO. I will say goodbye. Goodbye, Rob Bob. I am going to bed.
Okay, I am back. And I am staring into the horrible black void. Also known as FTL. Something about this game is I, as soon as I load it up, I like start getting a little nervous almost. Not nervous, but I like ready for the intensity. It's like this game never takes it easy on you. Okay, let's see. How's our volume? Looks pretty good from what I can see. Let's resume our game from last week. Thank you for the welcome back, Cartoon. Alright, what the heck were we doing? Um, I'm gonna uh, turn down the music a little bit. Mm, let me see how I wanna play this. Oh, I can leave that at that level. That seems pretty good. Turn it down a little bit in my ears is all. Okay, so here we are. We are this rock man ship. We have um, two rock men named Philip, 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 Hutz, like Lionel Hutz, attorney at law. Uh, Aisha, the crystal person. The crystal people are quite powerful. They have a special lockdown ability. Two humans and a Lanius. Lanius sucks oxygen out of rooms, as we all know. Um. And we are at Sector 2, sort of, sort of the end of Sector 2. We can finish that up very shortly. Uh, that's right, last week I unfortunately had an issue where my toddler woke up crying, so I left it there, even though I wanted to finish this sector. That's all right, though. That's life happening, right? Uh, let's adjust this display a tiny bit so the display is over me, over my ugly face. Get out of there. So you can see the power, right? Is, this, is it good like this, or would you rather... Maybe I can do this a little bit. <laughs> there, I guess it's a little better. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, what's the plan? That's the question. I always try to have a plan in mind when I play this game. What do I want? Usually the biggest plan is what do I want to buy next? Um, I think I was trying to... Upgrade weapons, but I'm not sure of hand... I have tons of missiles, so I can use swarm missiles more. Um, chain ion would be good to use, but I only have three. So, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Just get one more um, power to weapons. Then I could use chain ion plus crystal. Crystal H, I guess it's heavy. That would be a good combo. This chain ion, it would uh, start shooting faster and faster. That's how the chain weapons work. So if, if the first time it shoots, it takes, say, 10 seconds, the next time might be 9, then 8, something like that. So eventually, it really ramps up, and it's quite powerful. Uh, Alright, let's uh, go for that, then. We have to spend basically 60 on that. Okay, I think we're good. We have 66 now. Should I just do it now? I see no reason to wait. I mean, I could make up a reason, but let's just do it. I can't remember how to do it. Here we go. Okay, so now we can put... Let's say crystal here, chain ion there. And eventually we can also pile on the missiles if we get some more power. I think this will be a nice combo, though. Chain ion and the crystal heavy. Okay, we can do one more jump as an asteroid field. Uh, we do have two levels of shield, so that's passable. We could also go down here, but then we could not jump to the exit easily, and that would be bad. Without, you know, the fleet would catch up to us. So let's jump to the asteroid location up here. This beacon appears to have been set up within an asteroid field to access a mining settlement. However, half of the settlement has been disassembled by a, a number of Lanius scavengers. Their military escort moved in to scare you off. If they just want to scare me off, then why are they attacking me? Alright, let's, uh, let's just blast them with ions like we planned. 
Let's see how that goes, because I haven't really had this weapon before, or not too often. Cool, the asteroids are already banging them up, that's nice to see. But we are probably going to take a missile hit before we do anything significant. Here comes the missile that I'm talking about. We did take a missile, two hits. Uh, we might as well do the crystal right here. Nice. Okay, so the chain is... Actually, in this one, the chain... Look, actually, this one's a little different. What I was saying was that you can fire faster. That's how the chain weapons usually work. But in this one, the chain power is more damage. Interesting, right? So that means it's not shooting faster, but it's doing more ion damage. And what ion damage does is it disables a system. So it's going to disable a system for a longer period of time. You receive an image of their captain silhouetted by the destruction aboard their ship. I guess there's like all fire in the background. It bows forward with the metallic appendages about its body doing the same. It appears to be requesting mercy. Uh, it's going to give me one missile, one drone, part 12 scrap. I say nay. All right, so that was one missile, one drone, and 12 scrap. Instead, I got three fuel, two missiles, and 28 scrap. Much better to kill. <laughs> this game rewards being mean most of the time. I think that's why the... Uh, the Captain's Edition was made with like that whole system of morality and stuff. That's pretty cool. I think I just like the vanilla game better overall. But that was fun to play a couple times. Just to mix it up a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I like the chain ion so far from what I see. So I have 34 scrap. One more jump before heading over to Sector 3. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Debris from a battle is scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a functioning weapon among them. 12 scrap and a small bomb. Small bomb is pretty good, actually. It sounds better than a small bomb, but you can, um... You can do some good stuff with that. You can easily take out a single system in its charge time of 13 seconds. It's in system damage, too, so, you know, you can use that on, say, the shields or the weapons, and it's a good helper. Uh, I'm going to switch that out with the Breach. The Breach is powerful in, you know, in terms of raw damage, but it takes 22 seconds. It requires 3 power. So I'm probably going to sell the Breach later. But the Small Bomb, that's a nice helper. In fact, if I make my next goal to upgrade um, one more power, I can use these first three. And that's, that's going to be a pretty impressive combination. Considering it's not a huge amount of power. I guess the I guess the chain is a huge amount of power. But altogether five power for these three guys is gonna be really nice, I think. So if we hit a store and we um can we can dump these the heal bomb and the breach missiles, that's gonna be nice. Some people even like to sell their rock plating. <laughs> it's kinda of funny that you can do that. It seems like something very inherent in being Rockman. Just just like the man the mantises have the mantis pheromones. Anyway, we can go to NG controller, Zoltan, Homeworlds. Uh, I'm leaning towards NG just because I like to maximize the reds. If I go to the Zoltans, I cannot hit this red. So basically, if I go to Zoltans, I can only go to two more reds before the end game. If I go to the NG controller, I can go to three more reds before the end game. So let's go to the NG controlled. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Okay. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna. I want, not really want that energy, but one thing I like to do to do, to do is not neglect engines because that can really be a big help. Newbies tend to neglect engines because it's like, well, if I go from 20% of A to 25%, what's the big deal? But really, it really helps a lot. Every incremental upgrade, it can be pretty big. And you should look at it like that you're... Think of the ratio. It's not... Think of it not like a 5% increase. Think of it like 5 compared to the 20 you had, right? So it's almost like a 25% increase from what you had. If that makes sense. Relative to what you had. Anyway, sensors go wild as a nearby pulsar is detected. 
while you are attempting to recalibrate the FTL drive. A pirate sneaks up on your weapons. Weapons charging. Prepare for a fight. Hey, Ryan is back because Dateline is over. I was saying earlier, I didn't even realize that show was still on. Um, I guess I'm not up on my news programs enough. <laughs> Listen, it was on ABC. Anyway, it looks like they have a teleportation system, so they they can board me, but they only have NGs who are terrible boarders. Are they going to come after me anyway? This NG's running like he's going to come here. A single NG is going to come and board me. I think that's what's about to happen. Let's watch and laugh. Okay, you guys, you ready to laugh? Here he is. Here we go. I have to do this. Ion Pulse. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, my shields are out because of that. Uh, yeah, it sucks. But hopefully I can take him out very shortly. Cool, I just did. His weapons are down. Oh, the NG is still around. Dateline is like the dating game, right, Ryan? Is Dateline the show that originally had um, Chris Hansen catching predators? Yeah, I'm actually not paying close enough attention. Their weapons are back online. I was kind of goofing around a little bit. Let's focus a little bit. Okay, their weapons are off again. They have NG so they can repair things fast. That's what I gotta remember. Now, if I can take out the Clove, I'll win by destroying their clue. Actually, I, I can get by by ironing it. Watch it. Let's see if I can pull it off. Watch this. Yeah, so what happens with the clone bay is it's like a meter that fills up. And when the meter fills up, it clones one of their dead crewmen. But if, if, um, if the system is disabled for too long, it, they will not be able to clone. So if I just keep ironing it, I think their crew will all be officially dead. Yep, there we go. It happened. <laughs> so the reason why I want to do that is when you kill off the crew rather than exploding the ship, you get more goodies and reward. Basically. So Ryan says, to catch a predator made me realize that 99% of molesters look exactly like molesters. <laughs> okay. I noticed a lot of those shows about, like, documenting murderers and stuff are popular with the women. I wonder why that is. I guess maybe women have more of a... I'm not going to say this is unreasonable. Maybe, maybe more of a, a fear of being murdered. Um, okay, so we got a store up ahead. We can sell the stuff that I was talking about. So I'm going to... What I like to do before I jump right to a store is kind of circle around it if I can, hit more beacons, because every beacon you hit is an opportunity to grab more scrap. To acquire more scrap. Uh oh. Anytime there's something like, do you want to send a, an away party to investigate? I'm like, wait a minute. This is going to kill my crewmen, isn't it? So let's, uh... And I like to do the, the cheap thing often and just Google for what this one is. A federation encrypted signal. And I'll let you read along with me. That's fun to do, right? Okay, so basically, if you send an away party to investigate, there's a lot of possible outcomes. You could um, basically find a quest marker, which gives you something else. You can receive a uh, medium amount of resources and scrap and to get the quest marker. You could get nothing happens. You could get a high amount of scrap and resources, or you can be attacked by two to three human boarders and fight a rebel ship. You know, I think we should go for this. It sounds good to me. Ryan says, well, actually, let's catch up on that chat a little bit. Talking about true crime stuff. Arturo said, both my wife and my sister like that kind of show. Ryan said, I think it's some psychosexual thing with women. They have pen pals and well. <laughs> I don't think most women are. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get too crazy into that, but I, I think it's just mostly there. It's kind of a fascinating look into horrible people. 
Okay, you find the secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you of another secret base. They give you the coordinates. Add a quest marker to your map. Cool, so I got a quest marker. It's all the way here, though. That's going to be inconvenient to get to. Yeah, I think I sort of read it. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> Serial killers like Ted Bundy have guppies, like the fish. You come across a pirate, maybe bubble guppies. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly realize, you quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. No, I, I'm always a hero against pirates. I like this music. By the way, the composer for this game, Ben Prunty, he considers this not his good music. He thinks this is kind of very simple and amateurish when he looks back. So he's a kind of a, a video game composer. I follow him on Twitter. And he, he kind of, you know, he gets most, basically he says most of his acclaim is for this, but he kind of looks back at this like, wow, I, I can't believe I was so amateurish about my music back then. And anyway, I'm going to get hit by some stuff here, I think. Okay, I got a bomb in the shield room. Let's repair that ASAP. Yeah, these guys aren't really doing a heck of a lot. Yes, groupies. Okay. Yeah, guppies are fish. That's, that's okay, though. You're allowed to. If I was trying to express that in Spanish, I'd have to Google for the word and every other word as well. So I don't blame you is what I'm trying to say. Oof, we got hit in the engine. Okay. So uh, their flak is actually not good, and they have cloaking on top of that, which really slows down my offensiveness on them. I might want to kick it up a notch. Or maybe even switch to the bombs. Maybe I'll turn on a combat drone. I think that'll help. Engine's critical. That's okay. We're repairing. Here comes the flak. Why am I firing the shield? I thought I was hitting the weapons. Jeez. Okay. That'll be a reason why they're not damaging their weapons. Okay, here comes the flak again. Okay. All right, we're doing all right now. We're knocking down their, their flak is out of commission. All their weapons are out of commission. We're repairing stuff. Uh, we're doing okay, except that we are um, <laughs> letting the oxygen drain out at the moment. Let's uh, we can take off engines for the moment since their their weapons are out of commission. And put it, put one power into oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Ryan says, you're like Anchorman, Mark. You read whatever's on the teleprompter. Actually, the weapons are back online again. Oh, let's turn off the oxygen again. Who needs that crap? Yeah, we got to put on engines, at least one level of it. Here comes a flak. Okay, did not get hurt by the flak. Okay, they're bribing me. Uh, no, I'm going to kill them. Even though it's a, bit, a little bit of a dangerous fight, I'm confident I'll be able to finish them okay. Groupies. Groupies is an interesting word. Like, where does that come from? And now that I'm thinking about it, what is the Spanish word for groupies? Right, we got. Oh, we didn't actually get much there. The, the, the surrender might have been better to accept, even. Uh, hmm. Oh no. Well, this was a separate thing. I would have gotten that anyway. Okay, cool. So uh, having 104 crap is not. Uh, crap is not bad. Not crap. By the way, I got something I was talking about last time, guys. If you care, this is uh, my Super Nintendo adapter, Super Nintendo to USB, so I can play this. I can use this to play the game. I got for Commodore that uses a Super Nintendo controller, which is a strange combination. That game is the robot, uh, or is it the Petski robots, Attack of the Petski robots. That's my noisy cup, the sippy cup to make sure I don't spill anything. All right, so yeah, that fight made me realize I'm a bit tight on power and, um, 
there are two stores right next to me, apparently. Okay. Do I want to go to this store or that one? I don't know which is better. I actually hate when that happens because it's, it's too many opportunities. It makes me start thinking I could go to one and see if there's anything good. And if there's not, then go to the other. Or I could go to the first one. If there's something kind of good, I could spend my money on it. And then if I have no money, there's no point in going to the other store. But if the kind of good could have been surpassed by the second store, then is that a mistake? I, I just overthink things sometimes. But this game kind of makes you have to really think through all your options. Or you'll die. Anyway, uh, we have restored most of our oxygen. 94% I think is my max, considering the laniest guy here is always draining it. So let's head to, um, I guess this store right here. Have you played this at all lately, Arthur? I know you bought this game. I think I asked you that last week, sorry. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon are selling equipment just for that. Okay, we got a store. Ooh, flak gun. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap. If I can... Wow, if I can do flak, chain ion, crystal H, and small bomb, I'm, I'm done. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's all I need, probably. I could even swap out Chain Iron probably with something, but no, I kind of like it. That would be good. This uses two power, so... So, uh, what a... Oh, no, I have not got back and up, back onto Hearthstone. Sorry, Ryan. I should do that soon, though. We could even play online sometime, but I'm so rusty and I, I will suck, but... <laughs> That's all right, though, right? Yeah, anyway, I'm definitely getting this flak. I'm just kind of thinking of the combinations I can use. And, you know, do I want to disable the... If I get this now, do I want to disable the chain ion? And then I can use flak plus crystal plus small bomb at once. That's pretty good. Right there, that's good. And I can sell this crap I'm not even using. Fire bomb. Uh. I kind of want to like these fire and heal bombs because you can have fun with them, but I just never have been too successful. Like, uh, the idea would be you, for heal bomb, you're boarding a ship and then you use the heal bomb and it heals your guys, but not the others. It can be useful. I have used it. It just, I'm not, I don't even have boarding it, so I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to use it. And it has to use a weapon slot, so I think I'm just going to sell all three of these and I'll be raking in the money at that point. So let's do that. Swarm, though. Do I want to get rid of Swarm? I kind of like having the option. On the other hand, if I'm getting flak right now, maybe I'll just hold on to this. Anyway. So we're dumping those. I have 181 scrap, which is a ton. I'm getting flak. Um, I could fix a little bit. Usually my general rule of thumb is uh, heal up or repair up to the lowest level of green. You don't always need to do that, though. If you feel like you are in control in every fight or close to it i might knock down that level a little bit but i feel like i'm raking in this grab right now and eh, i'm just inclined to repair a little bit basically up to the green we'll go there we go and next up we can upgrade stuff oh actually i wanted to buy that i did buy the flag okay cool i actually have to put it in my Arsenal, though. Not just in the cargo. Uh, we're going to drop Swarm for now. We'll keep it as a backup. I don't... It probably would be wise to just sell it, really. But I'm a, I have, it's my pack rat tendencies coming in again. But, uh, yeah, let's switch these a little bit. Chain, take off Chain Ion. Yeah, this is a nice... This is a nice payload. I like it. Wow, this, this is good, yeah. And if I can get three more power, then I can use that. But for now, uh, since I think this is going to... This three, three here are going to keep me running for quite a while, I think. So I am going to actually switch... I mean, not switch. I'm going to upgrade some defensive stuff, I think. Or I could head over to this store and see if there's anything awesome that grabs me there. I should probably do that. So I'm going to jump to this store and see what's up there and then make decisions accordingly
Now, it wasn't, it wasn't the first dream where, where he was in this room, but it was the first dream since I moved into this particular room and uh, been using Ethernet. So back, I used to play at my dining room table all the time, and we were using Wi-Fi, and, and once in a while the Wi-Fi is flaky, so I'm really glad I'm on Ethernet now. But yeah, this is the first, the first time since I've been on camera, I guess, that he's been in the room. So yeah, it's really nice. I definitely like having him here as much as possible. Energy ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Okay. Okay, there's some good stuff here. This long range scanners is really nice. Oh my god, I can get another slack. Two flak ones. I might just dump the chain iron at that point. Wow. Uh, let me think it through just to be sure. So that just that blast with three. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, have three. That's nice, yeah. That'd be six shots from the flak. Small bomb could take out shields and weapons directly. And this guy just pierce, he pierces through one level of shield and does two damage. Holy crap, that that's not bad at all, I mean. Wow. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know why I'm even hesitating, but it's like... Yeah, yeah I mean, I'll just get this um, flak, and... Then I can use... I could just use two flak right now. Uh, <laughs> and I have to disable the, the bomb and the crystal weapon for now. Yes, you good stuff. I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What is housing like in New York? Santa Fe is booming. Everyone moves here from the Northeast. I, I don't really follow housing too much right now, except I know Zillow thinks that my house is going crazy up in price, but I don't think I actually believe it. <laughs> My wife follows housing. I don't see a lot of for sale signs lately. There, sometimes I can really notice, even though I'm not really that into real estate. I can, sometimes I can like drive down a random street and see like 20 for sale. So <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit. But. So I really don't know too much about the state of it right now. But, but yeah, it's, it's so expensive here though. The taxes are crazy. So I, I don't know how most people, I don't know, even know why it's such a popular place to live. Uh, then again, why am I here, right? Oh, here on Long Island, basically you have um, two things are beaches, proximity to beaches, and proximity to New York City without being in the city. I'm not really a beach guy, so that kills one of it. But I do have all my family here, so that's that's a different thing. Anyway, uh, what am I doing? Am I going to sell some of these things? Hold on. Let's not move things in the cell window. Uh, yeah, I think I might just sell the cell chain ion and swarm. I mean, I could see myself being really happy with all of it. Just the two flak, the crystal, and the small palm. Now, what I'm weighing in my mind right now is just keeping one of these, this chain ion or swarm, as a backup. I'm balancing that with having enough money to do some nice upgrades right now to my ship, like, like have more weapons. So maybe I'll sell one of these. I guess I'm not using the swarm ever. The chain ion, I might just, yeah, I'll hang on to the chain ion. I'll sell the swarm for now. Uh, she's, this is why people sell the rock player. Look, you can get a nice 40 scrap from that. It is nice. 15% of damage is canceled. I guess I'll hold on to it. If a better opportunity comes, though, I might sell it. Anyway, let's uh, check out fuel, missiles. Missiles we're doing insane with. And we do have some good amount of drone parts. Uh, Long-range scanners I wanted. That's right. That's a good one to have. That lets you see uh, everything that's adjacent on the map. Just additional info about nearby beacons on the start. That's a really good one to have, so I'm going to get that. Now I'm full on augmentations, but that's all right, I guess. 
Okay, uh, let's stop staring at the store screen and move on. Although, without only 43, I can't do too many upgrades now. That's okay, though. Probably soon enough. Where did you live before, Ryan? Did, you probably told me before, I'm sorry. He, Ryan said you couldn't pay me to live in the Northeast. <laughs> Alright. So... Yeah, what do I want to use for now? Do I want to use... I guess use the two flat? I guess I'll do what I have here. These three would be a nice... Nice way to go. And I'll save up two more power. Try to get two more power upgrades soon. And throw the flak into the fray. That was, that's going to cost me quite a bit. That's going to cost 125 plus... 50. Which is 175 by my math. And I do want to upgrade defensively too, though, so... Can't have everything right. That's, that's the thing about this damn game. Actually, that's one of the best things about any game where you have to spend money or resources on stuff. It's always, in my opinion, I think a lot of designers would agree. If you make it so the player is often in a situation where it's like, Oh, which one do I want to do? The agony of the decision. Because you have a lot of good options, but you can't have it all, you know? Anyway, I'm going to head over to this asteroid field. That sounds fun. Actually, can I do any of the upgrades now? No. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to save up for that weapon next and then go to defense. So when I say 175, it could be a little bit while. It might actually be um, in the next sector. You lived in Maine. Okay. I've never been to Maine. I know people who have relatives there and stuff. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moved into attack, turn, and fight. Alright. Uh, he has one level of shield in an asteroid belt. I don't even have to do anything practically. Let's not use a bomb. We'll just use two and three right now. Weapons two and three. Oh, I took a hit. Damn. Lionel has attorney at law can help. Help repair that up. It's frustrating when you miss a lot. Oh man, I'm gonna hit again. Okay, now we're now we're cooking a little bit. There we go. Ryan says, you don't have a New York accent. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd probably do a little bit, but... I try not to sound too much like my neighbors. <laughs> not my literal neighbors. <laughs> Some of the people around me. Uh, that's a nice... The fuel looks nice about now, but I want, I want more scrap. So, but now it's dead. And I got no fuel out of the deal, but that's good overall as far as scrap. Actually, you, Ryan, though, I don't think you sound New Englandy or anything. Actually, you remind me, I work with a guy, I work with a bunch of people in the uh, Austin, Texas area, and you remind me of a specific, a specific co-worker of mine when I heard your voice. It could just mean I don't know my accents, accents well at all. I don't know. Um, do, 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 do. Anyway, if I want to get to this quest, i got to actually... Try to go directly there. One, two, three, four. I think I can make it to the exit five without the fleet catching up, but I'm not sure. I might have to deal with them once. If that's the case, I'm probably going to want more defensive stuff. Shields and or engines. Thanks for like liking my stream, by the way, whoever. All right, let's go. I'm just stumbling across weapons all over the place. I gotta sell them, right? A small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. By the way, I, I so I, you know again I have pack rat tendencies, and I tend to, you know, if I have to expend a resource, I tend to avoid using it until I really have to. But right now I have 42 missiles, so every time you use a bomb. Uses up one of your missiles. I should just be dropping them 
all over the place. Like, I don't even know what I'm saving it for, right? So that's something I have to do better at. And now, I also have the instinct to um, go to each of these because I can kill people. But I really want to get to this quest, so I'm going to go one... Like I said before, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then back to the exit. So let's roll. Your ship is hell. We found you at last. Prepare to die. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna be liberal about bomb usage. Let's hit the shields. I hit it. And now we'll fire crystal and flak at the weapons. Nice. They do have a repair drone that's gonna make short work of the damage that I did. So the shields are back up. Weapon, he's gonna he's gonna head over to the weapon now. Mm. Yeah, let's uh let's keep using the bombs on the shields. You know, Stu said he used to live on Long Island, and now he's in Jersey. Hooray! Uh, no, I don't like I don't like accepting surrenders. I'm not I'm not that nice. That's the problem. I'm too mean. I'm ruthless. See, so you get more scrap, and that's the trade-off. Usually, usually you get less scrap, but more other resources when you accept their surrender. But not always. Generally, it's a better bargain to actually kill them. However, if you figure in that surrendering ends the fight early, then you can say there's some value in that. Because if you know if you're taking some damage by letting the fight progress, or you know to let it continue, that's 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 a cost to you as well. Anyway, I have 114. I said I need 175 for the offensive upgrade. I want. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit by the fleet, so I'm thinking I'm gonna. I don't even know what this quest is. Again, I just feel like I have to go there. I guess I could look it up because I, I I looked it up before with the encrypted federation signal one. Yeah, you can get some good stuff if you're lucky. You can get like a crew member and some scrap and a weapon. It's probably worth it. All right, here's the thing though. I'm gonna have to hit deal with the fleet once. I don't want to die by that, so I'm gonna have to spend some of this money on probably shields and maybe a little bit of engines, which is all right. It makes the decision for me, which is nice. <laughs> like as far as what I spend my scrap on. So Ryan says, my white dad raised me in Maine. Mexican Mexican mother left me young. So I came out to New Mexico where her relatives are and that's where I met my wife. So maybe I have a Southwest Austin accent in me. Oh, interesting. Well, Arturo, have you ever talked to Brad at work? And I thought he sounded very kind of similar to Brad. <laughs> Then again, we were kind of, you know, playing Mario Kart and yelling stuff and everything. So, it's possible, we, you know, we didn't get the conversational tone, per se. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this. I'm just going to jump here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Anytime you have to dock, there's a chance of being sabotaged by, like, slug slugs or something. Anyway, a small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. And it is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Okay, this could be a store. Could be a... I don't know, I could look it up. I'm just going to hit it. I'm going to dock it. The automated platform seems to be damaged. You can likely steal as much fuel as remains. Uh, I don't remember this one, actually. Alright, now I'm going to cheat and look it up. The automated platform seems to be damaged. So if you steal it, you get three to five fuel. If you ignore it, nothing happens. All right, I'm going to be immoral and steal it then. Look, there's no downside, right? Four fuel. Nice. 
no downside if you don't have a conscience. All right, over to the quest. You know, I might just squeak this out, right? I wish I had that add-on I always talk about. I should just install that one day. So basically what I'm looking at is the distance between the white and the red uh, arch. Is it, arc, is that going to... When that moves one more over next turn, is that going to overlap with the exit or not? That's the question. I think it's not going to, but it's going to be really close. But let's see. So I'm going to hit the quest now. Your volume was kind of low, but it's hard to get all the stuff right, especially if you're not prepared. That's fine. You search near the coordinates given to you, but your, even if you are prepared, it's tough. But your search yields no results. Perhaps they were mistaken, but I have long-range scanners. See, that's another th good thing about long-range scanners. They help you search for things sometimes. Your improved scanners pick faint signals, signatures of what appears to be a storage space hidden under the rock. You find the access point and discover a weapons cache whose Federation signal emitter has malfunctioned. So now we have more scrap and more missiles. Jesus Christ. Look at all this crap we got. I mean, I'm going to... I am blessed is... Um, trying to think of it like that one. I mean, no, I like what I have better. I got to sell stuff again, basically. <laughs> I might have to dump one of these things if I find more weapons in the meantime. Okay, the question is, look at that. I can make it just barely without the uh, fleet overcoming me. Cool, that means I can put off upgrading defenses for now. It's possible I'll regret that later anyway, but uh, I am going to spend the 175 on the weapons upgrade. And then we'll focus on defense, because we really need to at that point. We'll have we'll have offense, offense basically in the bag at that point. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There are a number of privately owned ships, cons ship construction platforms in the area. You find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. They offer to upgrade your door subsystem in exchange for some scrap. Ah, yeah, eight for the door system. It would cost more otherwise. And door is useful to have, especially with borders. So we'll do that. Cool. And now with the rock guy manning, you can see the doors upgrade even further. It looks different when he's in there or not. See that? And yes, Ryan, I did always live in New York. I have not moved from here. I might one day. We'll see. I don't think I want to be here forever. For now, I am here, though. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to jump to the next sector. That's what I'm doing. And we're going to head to the... Uh oh Mantis Homeworlds. Get ready to board. Or be boarded. Is what I mean. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch. And that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. So, poorly charted Mantis... All right, I can't resist the distress beacon, and uh, let's do it. A small civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You're prepared to fight, but they just inform you that they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. Yeah, of course, I don't have a ton of fuel. I have about the the amount that I'm comfortable having. Like usually, when I get at about nine ish, I say I got to start, start, you know, trying to get more fuel next chance I get. Uh, so the question is, what can you get if you give them the fuel? So I'm going to do another Googling. I should know this by now, but somehow I don't. So this is a friendly ship out of fuel. And in, in, let's see, this ha can happen in different sectors, as you can see here. Mm -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Now, which one is it? You're prepared to fight. Okay, just different flavor texts. And what can happen is... Okay, yeah, this could be worth it. I mean, you can get good outcomes. Now, if I get a random weapon, I'm going to be like, Oh, damn, now I have to ditch one of them because I'm full. I can't carry any more weapons. Otherwise, I'll be happy with what I get. Mapping the sector is good to have always. 
high amount of scrap. Can't say he can't say no to that. Uh, reactor upgrade by one. Sure, that's pretty good. All right, so let's do it. Give him the fuel. And <laughs> give me the weapon. I don't want a weapon. So now it comes down to: Do I want to keep any of these, or which one is the most valuable? Basically, all laser one. No, I don't want that. So I'm gonna dish the cheapest one. And to get those prices, I need to Google it again because I don't know. So basically we have, let's see if I can fit this all. All right, so hull laser one is cost which column am i looking at cost that's 55 is that much actually yeah it's about right okay chain one oh sorry it's chain oh, what happened okay Sorry, bear with me a moment, please. I apparently got rid of my uh, web browser somehow. Chain ion is what I meant to say, not chain one. That costs 55 as well. Ion blast costs 30. And hull missile costs 65. All right, ion blast is going. Nothing personal, you're just not worth a lot, Ion Blast. Okay. Ryan says, if you game needs to have a browser open, it's too hard. I mean, you don't really need to, it's just I'm kind of maximizing my decisions, you know, min-maxing, I guess you could say. And so I'm looking up the info from the wiki. You can totally play without that. <laughs> okay. So, so, so. Yeah, I gotta sell some of this junk. But for now, we're okay. We're gonna keep moving. There's a store right here, so we can sell soon. But first, I'm gonna hit this uh, battle. Hopefully, it's a battle. It usually is. You overhear Mantis Com chatter. Negative, I have killed more humans. You gulp noticeably. But luckily they don't see you yet. Ah, attack them. <laughs> I like that they're arguing over how many humans they killed. Okay, they have some missile, otherwise I'm not concerned here. If your game isn't punching dinosaurs in the face, it's too hard. So should I play um Cadillacs and Dinosaurs again? Uh what am I waiting for here? Yeah, I'm gonna get smacked by the missile, unfortunately, but that's alright. We're going to small bomb the shields, and then flak and crystal. The weapons, we got to repair this right away. Uh, let's send a rock, man. So I missed with the bomb. I wasn't looking, but I think I missed. All evidence points to missing. Oxygen needs help. Okay, you go there. Uh, let's send shield guy over to, to repair oxygen. On the shields. I think we missed again. Damn. Okay, not going too great. We'll be okay, I think, in the end, but not a great start. Finally, we hit with our bomb. That's good. That's what we needed. And now their weapons are offline. We still have a ton of missiles. So let's... But I can hold off for now. I don't need to use them right now. Ta-da! That's what I needed. Three fuel, which is good. I need fuel. One drone part, 32 scrap. I'm almost at my 175 goal. I'm going to hit a store, though, and sell a bunch of weapons. 
The hat is still the Long Island Ducks, the local baseball team. By the way, tomorrow I'm going to wear an old work hat. It is my data synapse hat. It's a company I used to work for with Andy. I was going to put it on tonight, but then I realized Andy only shows up on the Monday mainstream, so I'm going to wear it for him. It should, he should laugh at that. It's basically the company we used to work for uh, up until 2015 when a bunch of crap went down there. <laughs> anyway, we got taken over by a large company, basically. Um, all right. So, I guess we're going shopping. Identifying a mantis trading post ahead. You signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap it quickly. Come dock before the warriors see you. Okay. I like how this mantis's name is Craig Dolan. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> when, um, whenever I imagine the mantis is talking, I think of Zorak from Space Ghost. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? All right, let's sell all this crap I don't want. I'm going to sell yeah, all four of these are going away. Bye bye. Check out my scrap now, 280. Nice. Where did your mind go? No, I won't ask Ryan. All right, so, wow. I don't think I want to buy anything. I don't really need more crew at the moment. It would be nice to have an NG for repairs, but uh, I think I'm fine with my crew. The thing is, with crew, you, you just tend to accumulate them over time. So oftentimes, just buying one isn't really that good of a deal. Even though I have 280 scrap, it's like... You always have a use for scrap. You like you, you don't really make it to the end of the game and say, "Boy, I have too much unused scrap." So it's all about like you know maximizing the value you get out of that. So while I am tempted to buy an NG, I think I'm okay. But I could use a tiny bit more fuel. So I will go up to nine or ten. You say I need mantis. I don't think I need mantis because I have two rockmen and a crystal, that, and also the um uh. Litlanius. Between all of them, they do pretty good at fighting. So I'm not going to hire a Mantis. The Rockmen are actually quite good fighters. The Crystal Men, they can put the Crystal Shield up. Litlanius is suck oxygen out, which makes them good fighters too. Well, we hacked the Dominion voting machines and our CEO, McAfee, killed a guy. Are you just trying to make me say things? Okay. <laughs> Oh, things that went down. No, it was, um... No, it was basically just, uh... Without getting too specific, you know, how things get cut when a large company takes over your company. Your smaller company, and or... Things, you know, jobs get shipped elsewhere and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna buy one more fuel, because I am crazy. No, I'm not really crazy when I have 271. All right, so now I can get that 175 weapons upgrade, and I have nearly 100 to spare, so I can upgrade probably engines, or I might just save it for shield. Eh, probably one engine at least is worthwhile. Woohoo, look at that. Beautiful, huh? So, yeah, I'll do a little engine now, maybe one or two. And then I'm going to save for the next level of shield. So 100 for that plus the power bars. All right, so let's, um, we can do two levels of engine. And look at that. That works out pretty nicely. I spent all my scrap basically, but that is good. That is good. That's good. a good place to be. I feel good. If you couldn't tell, I feel good. So now my engine evasion is up to 34%, uh, which is quite nice. So more than one in three shots are just going to zip by my my head so to speak uh how's our engineer guy doing here by the way king he still has a little bit of room to upgrade too if you can see his engines are not his engine skill is not all yellow so he, he can actually kick that up to like i think 37 or so eventually so yeah this is pretty good and ryan says have you ever seen a doc on john mcafee mcafee i never knew how you said it mcafee or mcafee it literally seems made up. It's so crazy. Yeah, I don't know much. I didn't see the documentary, documentary, but I know he was like involved in a murder or something crazy. 
Did he like flee another country because he was wanted for a murder? Something really wacky like that. Insane, really. And for those who don't know, he's like one of the major antivirus guys. He founded that company, McAfee. McAfee. I think in the 90s, like everybody had McAfee. Anyway, look at my uh, weapon. Behold the double flak crystal and small <laughs> That's pretty. Those are none. Of, no single one of those is insanely good, but the flak is very nice. But together, it's a lot of hammering that I'll be doing, and it don't, doesn't cost the seven or eight power. It costs the third most, which is six. So that's pretty good. Because as you actually, if I can manage to use that for the rest of the game, I don't have to do these last two upgrades. One hundred and ninety. See that. Now, if I find, say, a flak 2, then maybe I want to upgrade one of the flak 1s to that, or possibly even dish the, like, the crystal or small bomb, and then I'll have a quite a flaky arsenal. So Ryan says he had a compound in South Africa and wanted to make a real-life Spanish fly. Oh, God. And even his starting, his antivirus software was crazy, really. Why was starting the antivirus software crazy? Actually, I'm all set to jump here. Let's survey. Yeah. Okay, I'm definitely going to do shields next. I want to save 100 plus 60 is 160. He spread false virus rumors to sell more software. Oh, that's pretty scummy. You think he would sell enough on his own, though? Like, like it's, it's on his own right. Like, why do you need to do that? You cross paths. Oh, here we go. This is a. Uh, this is one of the um, special events that you can use to unlock. A ship. So I've already unlocked everything. But this is the legendary mantis pirate named Kazakh Kazakh Plethkilik. Kazakh Plethkilik. So you cross paths with a mantis ship that looks to have had dozens of layers of armor plated armor plating added over what must have been a hundred year career. Its captain is legendary thief Kazakh Plethkilik. Your, clue, your crew look frightened. Prepare to fight. Okay. I welcome the talk, Ryan, for sure. I I just jumped my focus back and forth, though. So it's all good. All right, so we're gonna be, we're boarded by a mantis. We're gonna uh, have two rockmen to fight him, and that's okay. We'll, we'll definitely win that. Um, yeah, I definitely like any kind of interaction. It doesn't have to be strictly related to the game. Hey, anyway, what's my plan here? Ugh, just shoot him, I guess. <laughs> the old-fashioned shoot him in the face trick. Bombing the shields and just blasting the crap out of the weapons. Here we go. Crap, crap, crap. Crap has been blasted. Cool. And our chicken mantis decided to retreat because he's a wuss. Part of me wants to just take out the med bay so we can't heal, but that's not really going to work. I'm not going to really be able to win by killing off their crew, so I'll just shoot shields, I guess. Ryan says he was young and worth so much when he spread those rumors. It's like, dude, when is enough money enough? Yeah. That's the thing. People are like, they just get greedy and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what exactly motivates them. But... And you could also just keep making your software better and <laughs> Kazaa Plethkalik, or market it in an honest way. Kazaa Plethkalik fights to the last and you pick the scraps from the corpse of the ship, his ship. You sense, though, that his death has left a great mystery unresolved. Okay, we're looking for a 160 scrap. Huh. Stu just started another stream. It's a Star Trek bridge game. <laughs> Is that the VR one you played that time? Alright, let's do the question, uh, exclamation, and then maybe the stress. I'd be happy with a cool mill too, Ryan. Maybe a couple a couple mil. I feel like if I had a million dollars right now, I'd have to still work. That's the thing. A small shuttle 
appeared on the local radar. Turns out it is a rebel automated scout. The ship starts to power up with FTO. Okay. And it's going to hack us. Uh, I think we're fine, but let's just, I don't want them to get away, though. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna, I don't mind promoting Stu's stream. Because he has a fun stream, too. But yeah, it does make Ryan leave sometimes. I don't know. He probably gets the same notifications I do. Quite honestly. Okay, let's see if the bomb gets the pilot seat knocked out. Yeah, that's good. Now we can shoot other things. Like weapons. I mean, with a million, I could take off like 10 years, but... Yeah, I guess I could retri retire earlier for sure. But it's funny, when you like look at these retirement calculators on like finance websites and bank banking websites and stuff, like you input your, you know, your age and how much you want to have when you retire. And it's like a million doesn't even mean that much anymore. Like basically, if, say you're 30 years old, I'm older than that, but say you're 30 and you want to make your, you know, de comfortable payout from your 401k, and you need to have at least a million if you're going to do that. Okay, I did not get a lot from that fight, that's alright. Hang on one second. I hope I don't, I'm not hearing the baby again. I am not hearing the baby. Although, given the time check, I should wrap it up in about 20 minutes, probably. Alright, so I think our offensive arsenal is going pretty well. We just have to get those defensive upgrades I was talking about. And then we'll just spend on whatever. I mean, we can even improve our offense by... If we get two more drone energy here, we can have the two combat drones going at once. That's pretty crazy, actually. That's cool, Ryan. Yeah, me and my wife are doing all right, I think. It's just, uh, you know... Not, not millionaires yet. <laughs> Babies taking money from the rebels, exactly. Okay, we could go to distress and then the sun here. I hate the suns, but at least we have two rockmen who can put out the fire easily. Oh no. <laughs> this is the <laughs> why I'm laughing and kind of groaning. This is um this is like the uh in like the FTL community, this is all become a joke. The giant alien spires. It's a joke that they're no joke. See, this says they're no joke. Basically, if you decide to help fight the alien spiders, you have a 50-50 chance of one of your crewmen dying. And it's just really bad odds. And if you if you leave if you are lucky, you just get some, I don't know, moderate amount of scrap or something like that. And it's just I'm always tempted to do it because I like like to get you know, scrap. But it's just like, it's like the, it's like infamous for being a terrible choice to pick <laughs> the the giant to fight the alien spiders. Ryan is worth much more dead. Is that because of your, uh, your life insurance? Don't tell your wife that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna investigate the alien spiders, unfortunately. I actually could jump back here successfully. It looks like a crazy thing to do, but um, it is out of the range of the fleet, and then I can just jump back, something like that. And the reason why I want to do that is because fights get you scrap. And where I'm at, I'm able to handle the fights okay, it seems like. I'm not in over my head at the moment. So I'm going to go crazy. And the reason why I'm choosing it over this, though, is um, this is near a sun, and I might be able to go to both, actually. I could probably go to about one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. So let's do it. We find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. 
attempt to download the ship's data stores or don't risk activating it just strip yeah let's just do number one usually you have to fight it when you do that okay so i got more stuff that's cool it also gave me data about this sector so my map has been updated cool i can see a bunch of stuff now there's a store okay i think my new plan is one two three four might be able to squeeze it and jump to here too we'll see i realize you both i like think a lot of times you're seeing the top of my hat kind of because the way the height of my laptop stand so i recently got a laptop stand to help me out but i realize it's probably a little hot you want to be a little bit you want to be able to see my face a little bit right or I could just take off the hat, but now my hair is all messy. <laughs> anyway, at this point, you almost expect a fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take the time to catch your breath and double-check the ship's systems. It's weirder now that you pushed it. Okay, I'll put my, ha my hat, hat back to where it was, but I will keep the laptop stand lower. I think it's probably better, right? Well, let me know what you think about that. At this point, uh, I already read that. So this one has a pulsar. Uh, let me know if it still looks weird or cheap. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't play with things too much. I'm always like, well, I could tweak this, adjust that. Uh, pulsar. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to click it. I was considering it, but I guess we're going there now. Looks pretty much the same. Okay. A rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in the command's good graces. Charge the weapons. All right. They do have this shield generator. That's a little annoying. But otherwise, I don't see any trouble here besides maybe this pulsar, which will ion blast my stuff, essentially. But it gets them, too, so... It's just like... It's a, it's a cause of instability you know it's disrupting anyway the super shield just charge up so i canceled my bomb i don't want to waste the bomb on that so let's uh fire some flak cool weapons down i think we're doing all right we don't even need to bomb probably Ryan said, <laughs> yeah, why? Well, you assumed I was going to look like a nerd. I don't know. I am a nerd. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I will not accept surrender. Their FTL is charging. I'm actually a hipster. Ryan says he assumes, I, he used to assume I looked way nerdier. Did I look like Steve Urkel? Me and my friends used to call each other like Steve Urkel and stuff. I had a friend named Jeremy and he, we used to call him the white Steve Urkel. <laughs> and then we kind of riffed off that and we're, I don't know, it just got ridiculous. Um, we riff off that and call each other the insert adjective here, Steve Urkel. And it, it got to the point where it was making no sense. We were just goofing around. A Mantis military scout seems to have just finished a salvage op <laughs> a nearby wreck. Oh, they have three shields. Okay. They have no time to waste with warnings and appear to wish to fight. Did I do that? I actually used to like... Oh, I just realized my shields are down. I used to like Family Matters a bit. You know, I used to watch crappy sitcoms. Not, not saying I had super high taste, but it was fine. I liked it as a silly family sit you know not silly but a family sitcom and Steve Urkel was fun but then they turned him into this guy who was like every other episode he was inventing something that was like it was like a sci-fi thing like oh now now he invents this ser serum that turns him into a charismatic guy named Stefan Urkel 
or there would be like a I don't know like a, a teleporter or something. It was like it was like it was like Stewie in the Family Guy or something, inventing all this crazy crap. And it just got ridiculously stupid. Yeah, they they went all in on Urkel. It was like he wasn't even supposed to be a main character. They did, did not design the show around Urkel. They just made him as like a secondary character who was in he was a nerd who was in love with Laura, and that was the joke. He's a nerdy guy. He wants her, and ha ha, he can't get her. And then people loved Urkel, and he's the one who got him all the ratings. So they went all in on Urkel, and it was a disaster. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not seen the Key and Peel Urkel sketch. I've only seen that a few times, actually. Key and Peel. Okay, we got a fuel, two missiles, 28 scrap. Cool, I'll have to check that out. Hopefully it's on YouTube or something. Okay, we have 134 scrap. What do we say? We need 160 for our shield upgrade. Yeah, that's what we need. Cool. It's coming along nicely. I don't want to jinx myself, but so far this game seems to be going rather smoothly. Uh, I can definitely, I can definitely die still. I'm not going to say that. I can't. And I am playing on normal, not hard. I consider like easy to be cake. Normal is a d decent challenge, and hard is hard. It's almost like I think easy, normal, and hard correspond to easy, normal, and hard. <laughs> All right, so here we have another fuel donation opportunity, but uh, I only have seven. Um, I'm still obscured by th by the window, aren't I? So I don't know. I am. Uh, I shouldn't do this. What do you think, guys? Well, Ryan probably doesn't follow the game really. <laughs> I think I should not do this. Yeah, let's not do it. I mean, I, I want to, but three fuel are going to be... There's a good chance I'll wind up dead in the water, so... Or dead in the, the void of space. Oh, Arturo says do it. Too late. <laughs> Ryan said do it too. Too late, sorry. That's the problem with the lag between the streaming and the chatting. So Ryan says it makes him like a psychic who makes the show all about him. And when Mr. Winslow tries to quit, he makes him put a gun in his mouth. <laughs> wow. You arrived at the long range beacon. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, look at this. I could have just gotten five fuel right after. So I guess I should have listened to you guys. But I didn't know. <laughs> Nobody knew this was going to happen. Yeah, it's worth it because... Uh, I'm considering the price. You know, it costs two drone parts. I think I'd be fine with 13 drone parts, and I'm definitely going to use the fuel. Yeah, I, I know you, you're not totally following the game. That's all good. All right, so we're at 134. Our goal is 160 for the shield upgrade, and we're going to head into pirate, pirate sector... If the reports are true, this area has been under the control of pirates for quite some time. Some traders will still attempt to trade with the few settlements that remain, but they do so at great risk. Alright, there is no choice but to jump to this beacon, so we will do that. Oh, this is always a tough choice. So this is, you see... A civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. And I should correct myself. It's not always a tough choice. It's um sometimes it's a damn easy choice. But right now I I want to have drones. They're not essential to my strategy. I want to definitely keep some drone parts though for my combat drones when I need them. Which means I probably don't want to go with a cell 12 because I only have one. The 48 scrap would be freaking nice to get. And I'm not desperate in desperate need of it, but um, it would be nice to have that. But I think I'm going to go with selling six. Because I'll be able to 
getting by with seven, I think, for a long time. Three, eh. Three wouldn't really be significant. But I'm gonna go with selling six for 24. Okay, distress call, and hopefully we can get our shield upgrade. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. Because of our rock plating, we have this third option in blue. Make a thorough search for the ship without fear of stray asteroids. Sure. You find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either de destroyed or unidentifiable, but one of the weapons appears salvageable. And there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Oh, this is, this is, is this how you unlock the crystal ship? It's been so long, I don't remember. But I've already done that, because since I've unlocked everything, as I said before. This might be I actually just get a free crystal man, though, so that'll be good. It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship. Just just now that I've shown up, there's like I have to do something, make a quick decision. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do they take? Take the weapon and any spare scrap or the stasis chamber. Ryan says this game isn't too bad. I played a game called Spaceship Interceptor. I think it was it was an FTL ripoff. Huh. Interesting. Or maybe Interceptor Spaceship. Now, there was a game inspired by FTL that looked pretty good. It was actually like a pirate ship on the sea kind of game. I have to look into what that's called. But I'm going to Google for this one. Because I don't remember the outcome that can happen. And yes, I'm pulling up a web browser. Uh, stasis. Well, this guy says, pro tip, always grab the stasis pod when this <laughs> pops up. It doesn't actually describe what it does in the art. Oh, here we go. Uh, damage, did it say damage? No, stasis chamber. Here we go. Yes, yeah, this choice here. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is, all right. Yeah, this might not actually be worth it because they already up, because they already unlocked this, the crystal cruiser. So what's gonna happen is if I choose this, I get the damage stasis pod augment in a low amount of scrap, and the augment is needed to advance to the second step in the process of unlocking the crystal cruiser. Can I get something cool even though I've already unlocked that? Yeah, I can get a crystal crew member, so that would be really good to get, actually. Um, so if I do that, though, I have to dump one of my augments, because I have three already, and I have to actually get to the second step, which is what? I have to go to the... I have to find a Zoltan research facility. Uh, what are the chances of that happening? I can't look at my map right now. I think I missed a... I skipped over a Zoltan section. I don't think it's going to happen, actually. Because I, I already went through an NG, and I skipped over a Zoltan. I don't know if there's any more Hulk coming up. I'm already on Sector 5, right? So, yeah, I think it's not going to happen, or it's unlikely. So that just means I'm going to pick number one. What's behind door number one? Twenty scrap and swarm missiles. I had sold my last swarm missiles. Can I look at the main map without? I don't think you can. Only when you're going to the exit, I guess. All right, good folks, I'm probably going to wrap it up in just a few minutes. I can probably do one or two more battles. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Let's see. I like to stare at my screen. Oh, I just need two more for that upgrade I want. Let's go here.
Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Okay, so I only have one out of my four engine <coughs> powers on. Um, this thing has some decent firepower. Let's take him out before it takes us out. We'll do our usual strategy of bombing their shield and then blasting the heck out of the weapons. And they got a missile off at me and they zapped my clone bay. Oh, missile right to the face for this poor guy here. Vivamord. Not, not, not Voldemort. Um, let's do some repairs. We're going to repair the clone bay and the shields. And keep hammering on this jerko. Hello, Flack. It's so satisfying. Two scrap, uh, two fuel, and forty scrap. Good stuff. Now let's do that big upgrade. All right, and fifty-eight scrap to spare, huh? Three levels of shields. Cool. We could use a bit of repair about now. You arrive at the next beacon only to be immediately held by a small shuttle. Help us! We are being attacked by pirates. Alright, sure. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Oh, they got what? What is this? How many combat one? I guess so. They have three shields, missiles, super shield generator. Oof. No, this is actually an enemy anti combat drone. So it shoots to stun and possibly destroy your combat drone. Okay, that's fine. Incoming missile. The missiles are problematic to me. If, if I can get a defense drone later, that would be great. Okay, that missile missed. That's nice. My bomb just hit their shields instead of missing like last time. Damage to their weapons and uh, they, that, they did damage to my weapons. Their missiles are back online. Let's do something about that. Yes. Lavatilas Manos. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that line from American Dad. <laughs> I was really happy when I heard Arturo knows that one. <laughs> we, were ch we were chatting about that before. Uh, I'll just bomb this missile. Uh, getting pummeled though. This is not great. I mean, I'm definitely going to win this battle. I just don't like how I'm taking so many hits. Okay. I think it seems to be doing good without the bombs now. What I'm doing is tearing down the shield with flak and the crystal ship. I fire next to do two damage to the weapons. And I missed that time though. 
So we will use another bomb. I have 36 of them. Unfortunately, I got another missile off and it hit my O2. So yeah, I definitely want to get healed soon. I should finish him right now though, unless I have bad luck. And bad luck is what I have. Again? Bad luck again. There we go. Okay, I think that's my cue to call it a night. Three fuel, two missile, 38 scrap, and the civilians who I'm helping. Okay, Ryan, have a good night. Yeah, I'm just about closing it out anyway. Just wanted to resolve this. This encounter. So yeah, thanks for joining, and probably I'll see you on Monday. I'm probably I'm probably gonna play homebrew games on Monday, maybe, especially that robot game I've been talking about. I might dig up another few home homebrew games as well. Anyway, they respond. It's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright, and I'd like to help you like you helped me. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on your ship. It is 23 scrap and an ion charger. Ooh. Okay, that is all, folks. Say bye-bye to Faster Than Light. And thank you for watching, and thank you for the like, whoever. I'll take more likes if you want to give them to me. If not, that's fine, too. And, um, yeah, my usual uh, schedule is this very stream that you're watching now is at 9 p.m. Eastern, and I play kind of random PC games, although I have my favorites, obviously. It's this game, FTL, comes up, comes up a lot. And my other stream is Retro Games on Monday, called Monday Mame. That is uh, every Monday at 8.30 Eastern. And I play games on the MAME emulator as well as other emulators. I'm Like I said a minute ago, I'm probably going to play some homebrew games, which are um, games that people, random people make, not big game companies. They make them in their home for old, for old systems. So I have a game for Commodore 64 that I'm going to try. And probably some other games too. That's, what, that's my plan. We'll see if it, if it works out. And that's all. Thanks for watching and good night. See you next time. Bye.